the freestyle <laughs> by Corey Holcomb and this bitch. Because I don't like your daughter, bitch. <laughs> I don't like your daughter, bitch. Ever since I saw the little hoe, niggas knocking on my motherfucking door. <laughs> it's Trina there. Is she coming out? I say, hey, put that thing in that bitch's mouth. I don't like your daughter, bitch. <laughs> Going in my refrigerator. Every nigga that nut in her, somehow they hate her. Oh. Her two kids that she kept because she thought them dudes was going to give a fuck. <laughs> but then they ducked out on her ass. <laughs> fuck that silly slut. Even though that bitch do got a big ass butt. But I won't fuck her though. Because it's your daughter. But get the daughter out of my face before the slaughter. I don't like your daughter, bitch. I told you he had some shit. <laughs> all them records 51 wow. motherfucking 50 in the motherfucking house is so much shit to talk about this week so know. much shit yeah, yeah but i do want to start out by saying this god damn it first of all what's up everybody what's motherfucker up? Hey. nate what's jackson up? zoe williams yes, sir. d craig smith on the hell yeah light skin <laughs> he lighter than zoe and shit you think so he got the um. You hear D? A light you up. think so? With that hood on, he got the Deadpool up. looking. This it's motherfucker right in here. <laughs> hey, when summer comes, we're gonna see who tans the best. He really I look like red. Deadpool right now. Say, where's Francis? <laughs> <laughs> where's Francis? <laughs> <laughs> You're gonna get killed by a Genova. What do you call that thing? That thing to clean the ice. Or, I don't know. Fuck it. A Zamboni? A Zamboni. Oh, Zamboni, Zamboni, right. Zamboni. I, I didn't know what the Why fuck it was. Jeopardy <laughs> answer. Historical <laughs> snack <laughs> college. Wait. I got to talk about some shit. Uh -oh, okay. <laughs> Here goes some comic shit. Mm -mm. This weekend on that debacle tour. That's what I call it. <laughs> wow. The debacle tour. <laughs> Damn, nigga. <laughs> A comic uh -oh. named J.B. Smooth. Nigga, I love. Yeah. I heard. Took a hell this weekend Happened. in Atlanta. And by me being a veteran comic, I already know what happened. What happened? J.B. Smooth. I'm let up on it. I don't know. J.B. Smooth, very talented comedian. I know yeah. mm -hmm. He did a show in Atlanta at the arena. A very bad idea for my brother J.B. Smooth. I don't know who. See, these agents who want money mm -hmm. will send you on a Blank mission. So bad. I know a lot of comics that visit cities three, four times a year. Not look clubs. I'm talking about they just find their way on these big ass shows. Mm -hmm. Me and JB Smooth, Smooth did Atlanta in November at the Fox Theater. Wait, we right? sold out one show, mm -hmm. had to do another show. Mm -hmm. That's that's the demand. Right. And this was a this was a real busy week in Atlanta. We had a good week. I remember that shit. I'm saying all this for a point. J.B. Smooth had been seen by a lot of people in Atlanta recently. So, on the debacle tour, <laughs> the let's, wait, let's see, can we sneak up out of here with this money tour? Right. The where, debacle tour. The, man, these on? motherfuckers ain't bringing it. Wait, are you talking about the one we talked about last week? The Martin Lawrence yeah, and all that? fuck okay. it. I said the tour that Martin Lawrence is hosting. I call it the debacle tour. And motherfuckers say I'm hating. I don't give a fuck. Go to that shit. My man JB Smooth was thrown to the wolves what because he went up last Whoa. on that show. Now, when you go up last on a show, who was supposed to go up last? Martin? I don't know who all was on that show, but JB Smooth should not have not been. Not Martin. Martin's hosting. He hasn't been going 10 minutes. Let's oh, see. he's only hosting. Can you? Can, thank you. <gasps> see, Martin Lawrence that. go out there. Do his little Martin dance. In between the show. Oh, what's up? Hey. Hey, come here. Hey, Tommy. All that bullshit for a few minutes. <laughs> I know Tommy. that's going to get me. Tommy, I know Tommy. I'm Tommy. fucking up. Recipes, Tommy. Tommy. I just oh, can't man. help it. I can't help it. Nigga, these niggas is not ready for a tour. But they out there. And you know what I'm saying? Mm. It's like, 
I heard I heard Michael Blackson destroyed that motherfucker. Yeah, that's why I heard. I'm gonna tell you something about Michael Blackson. If you ain't never seen Michael Blackson that he gives whoa. That motherfucker go out there with that shit, hey motherfucker, and he tear that shit up. <laughs> he don't ever have a down for it's like he's he's gone. I don't know who else was on the show. I don't give a because fuck. Because they keep switching. JB the Smooth ain't had no business going last on that show because he had been to Atlanta within recently months, with me right, where months. we motherfuckers sold out them shows where I went to the radio station up at V103 and they wow they pulled some bullshit where I couldn't even be on the radio. Oh, really? The only radio I go on in Atlanta is Ricky. the homie Ricky Smiley. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Them right. not, that's the one motherfucker here be like, Corey, come on. Even if the shit ain't right because, right. you know, we know each other. Right, mm-hmm. right. But that other radio station with uh, that lady Wanda, it's always something where they pull it. Oh, something happened today. We can't do the show. Oh, man. We can't have Corey on. Mm. So whenever I go to Atlanta, I never expect to be on that fucking show, and I never kiss ass to be on that fucking show. Even though the promoter paid his money, they pull that bullshit when you go up there because really they some hating motherfuckers, and I don't mm. give a fuck who get mad. But JB Smooth took the L because he went last, and he had been there. Uh-oh. How long How long ago was November? What was that, that about that, five months? That's not even a half a year, right? That's not even a half no. a year. November, no. December, January, February, March, no. April. Like four. Wow. Three, three and a half, four. You ain't got no business headlining no motherfucking show at Arena, and you just did the Fox Theater for two shows? Oh, shit. Right. You should have been the last motherfucker to go last. But he went last. Uh-uh. And it didn't work out well for my good brother, J.V. Smooth. Uh, so I just wanted to say How the politics. How man? Huh? How long are the sets? 20, it don't matter. Months? It's a theater. You post a yeah, so a theater show. If you got 10, 15 minutes, you go up there. You fucking you I post said, a kill. A dub and just rock. You so, see what I'm saying? But JB got more time than 20 minutes. Just switch but it up this is what happened. Mm. Now this is what JB Smooth. I wish they had a hook where you could grab your nigga <laughs> and <laughs> pull him <laughs> and be Boy, like, too much. don't do that. No way. Uh-huh. Man, you don't wish niggas had a hook people. like that because you'd have holes all in your outfits and niggas pulling you back. <laughs> but but look no for yeah. real, JB Smooth. <laughs> they call the Corey this Hill. is the mistake JB Smooth made. Besides letting them niggas politic to get him to go last, I don't know who was on the show. I don't know who I was on the show, but I know JB Smooth shouldn't have been the last motherfucker going up to the show. You just got to that motherfucker. He was in that motherfucking November next. Speaking of <laughs> mystical, nigga. <laughs> the mic I'm trying to do the mystical. Right. Cause Craig was talking shit, but anyway, yeah, we gonna get to this. Mystical <laughs> trash. Is my JB motherfucker. Smooth made a big mistake, in my opinion, not with what happened on stage. <laughs> JB Smooth said, I'm not a nigga comedian. On stage, though. Ooh. He said, I'm not a nigga comedian. Well, during the booze. Wait, what you mean? It don't matter. So That's he what pulled the, brother the lightsaber said. out. <laughs> right. Why, though? What? Nigga, not a nigga That's why I don't comedian. fuck with y'all. Right. Oh, the that's oh, oh wow! Yeah, nigga, so nigga you supposed to just take your take L, nigga, to the mouth. Take you, that's nigga, where you the, can't <laughs> fix this by saying that. Hell no, now right. niggas ain't never gonna fuck with you. Let in me LA. tell you something, man. No, I'm gonna tell you something. L.A. I don't know if yeah. he was before y'all time. <laughs> Baby Smooth was a beast, a nigga comedian. Oh, he was yeah. one of the Monster. best, yeah, motherfucker comedians. But this is what happens sometimes when you get comfortable in your little. World where you performing at little corny ass spots and doing little corny ass shows, them niggas don't laugh at that shit. So no. you act like something wrong with niggas and say I'm not a nigga comedian. Damn no it, nigga, get back out here, my nigga. Mm. You are potentially one of the best. Yeah, you got you. to get back out here in the game, nigga. Don't get mad because they booed you. It happened to the best of us. Yep. Yeah, I got booed in Atlanta. Up. Clark Atlanta. One shit I could do. What did you say? That bitch, <laughs> that Dean walked oh, up to school. me. No yeah. cursing, nigga. I was oh, like, what? Nigga, I took the I wasn't, I wasn't ready for that because it's kids. Wait, right. Brought him to Clark and Atlanta. That little Dean bitch, the little bitch, the you bitch. Go Dean. I don't know your name, bitch. If I knew it, I'd say it. <laughs> Dean bitch, the punk <laughs> ass bitch who the Dean at Clark Atlanta pulled a power play. Right before I, don't know I tried my best. Right before I went on stage, oh, maybe true. the bitch Come is on. Dean. I don't know. Whatever the bitch at Clark Atlanta, <laughs> punk ass. Bitch, they loved on using their power over entertainers when you get there. No cursing, that's nigga. What, right, that's what happened to Hannibal and Loyola. They kept cutting the 
fucking mic off on them. We motherfucking entertainers. We get paid for this shit, and we here. We got some funky dean, bitch. No curse. Whoever you bitch. are, bitch, I'm talking to you. I know it's gonna get back to you. Yeah, your students like Dean so and so. Look what Corey said. <laughs> yeah, that's how I go. This is my time to get back. I had that check in my hand though, didn't I, bitch? Funky bitch. <laughs> Check right, anyway, bitch. So wait, so what how did he come out? Wait, so how did he come out of that? What's going on? I just had to take that L. <laughs> Check right, and bitch. Right. But what's going on with him? What like, you? But JB Smooth, my brother, I love you. You you gotta you gotta find a way to take that back. Just say okay, I wasn't ready. Like Kevin say. <laughs> no, 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 he wasn't no, ready. no. Hey, JB no, Smooth, no. one of the greats, man. He's, one of the oh, greats. He's, yeah. JB Smooth is a good comedian. He's one of the yeah. best comedians. And you yeah. can't say you're not a nigga comedian because you on a nigga tour. Just take the L, nigga. When you can't I'll make them niggas laugh, man. your paper gonna slow the fuck down. JB Remember that motherfucker, the he, Police he Academy did. nigga, used to be like, <laughs> 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 Michael Winslow. Her, 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 them niggas. The top nigga at one point, wasn't he? They go they perform did. in front of the white motherfuckers. Oh. Then it'll be a couple of years later. They be up there. Ah. All right, all right, all right. The white people be like, all right, okay. Enough of that shit. <laughs> I think Marcus King <laughs> told me that shit. <laughs> Three Stooges shit. <laughs> oh. That nigga just locked in the <laughs> casino <laughs> up north. <laughs> Michael Winslow. He did what? He locked in the casino for like 10 racks up there. Uh, did he? Up the boot. He just <laughs> making noise. <laughs> <laughs> he did the cash and check. The phone. <laughs> the little phone. <laughs> <laughs> I love that nigga. Yeah, you don't want to be 60 years old oh, up there. Oh, <laughs> <he> was, <laughs> you do not want to be that. Do, do the 65 year you old version. Have you ever seen JJ Walker out here performing? Yeah. <laughs> he is so bitter because he they want him to be like dynamite, but he won't do it. He won't. No matter what they ask for. What happened? What oh, oh, nigga? Was it you that said he, he got mad because you asked him who asked him to do that? He always get mad when people be like, JJ, what's up? <laughs> Just like the nigga from San Francisco, son, Rollo nigga, check the shit out of me down there. Too. What did Rollo say to you? Nigga? Rollo check you. What? Y'all don't, I, I said the story on the show. I, Not Rollo. I was, My name is Hernandez, nigga. <laughs> right. I was new to town. I was like, hey, it's Rollo. He said, I ain't no motherfucking Rollo. Oh, oh, oh shit. Oh, it was a little mean motherfucker. I was like, well, I, I know he no got a pistol Rollo. talking that shit. Oh, God damn. <laughs> <laughs> you niggas call me Snack Panther, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> Snack Panther. I'm like, here today. Snack Panther, nigga. Oh, Snap Panther. Michael Winslow, you ain't never seen the no, dude out of Police Academy. Saying, no, I know, but who's Look at my dog, look. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I'll pay to go see him just to see the new sounds he probably yeah. came up with. <laughs> right. <laughs> you gotta do the elderly You version. can't All the new rappers Are doing all that sound <laughs> Those are the background Oh he can make A gang of brands <laughs> Whatever you get famous doing That's what them people Gonna expect you to do Oh my god I love for Dougie Fresh But I know he about Well how old is Dougie now Oh but he's not He's not fresh no more I'm no for the tired of beatboxing. That nigga mouth got to hurt. You ever beatboxed for three minutes? Your lip. Ribbit, ribbit, ribbit. Lip nigga, the boy, do the scared frog. Oink, 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 oink. Do the scared frog, nigga. A scared frog. A scared frog. What is that? What is that? I was y'all stupid. And that nigga with that frog was in that boat with you. You gotta post that video. You actually, I thought you were lying. Nah, man, I was. This nigga had a frog in that boat. He was scared of the frog. The frog was scared of him. The frog was quiet. Then that's why that frog said. <laughs> he made some type of stuff. He wasn't riveting no more, nigga. He was like, Nate had that big ass net. Nate had a big ass net too, trying to get that motherfucker out that there. That motherfucker was moving big, so I was like, wow, wow, wow. I was like, nigga, I'm no, I'm big. If Michael Winslow was out there, he'd have swam up, up to your boat. He'd have been like, Oh, 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 oh. Oh, that's funny. Oh, you going in on Michael Winslow, man. <laughs> you ain't gonna do nothing, nigga. Do something, Michael. <laughs> hey, I dog walk Michael uh -oh. Winslow. <laughs> Michael Winslow be like, <laughs> 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 You got knocked the fuck out. 
like, I'm still standing here. Oh. Uh, <laughs> I know I will. Oh. <laughs> oh. Oh, God damn it. The long story short, (laughs) hey, JB Smooth, nigga, we know you the shit, dog. Keep your head up, nigga. But Keep your head up, nigga, but don't be shitting on niggas when it go bad. Yeah, that shit's out of line, nigga. I am a nigga comedian. But I can perform in front of any motherfuckers and make it work, God damn it. I'm here to tell you. If I take an L on stage, I'm going to be laughing with motherfuckers. I'll be booing with motherfuckers. I'll be like, boo to you too, motherfucker. Look at your mama, though. (laughs) (laughs) They might be like, you lost, but he he told that one nigga. I'm going to have one good one in there. Oh, he was this one? I'll pour a drink on myself and walk off stage, nigga. Like, yeah, I put myself up. It was that fucked up shit when (laughs) JB walked off. He said, what's up? He forgot something, so he walked back. No, you're supposed to have somebody go and get yeah, this. Yeah, he, he, when he walked back, he had that face. I call it the play face. Oh. That would be classic, hey, though. he got a funny face. This nigga's it is crazy. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, he's hilarious, This though. nigga said, I'll pour a drink on myself and walk, walk off. Hey, oh, <laughs> but that'll be funny. Yeah, I'm going to put myself but niggas, out, nigga. I'm but niggas will love. Act like you tripped and hurt <laughs> yourself. Oh, yeah. Niggas will be yeah. laughing because they'll be like, this nigga doing whatever. <laughs> <laughs> we got to practice bombing. Us comedians, let's practice the nights that don't go well. What do you do besides just talk? Because when it's a whole, we got a whole arena booing you and shit and people walking out. Motherfucker, take all your clothes off and do the motherfucking centipede on that. (laughs) Right off stage. (laughs) (laughs) Niggas will stop walking out there. Look at this motherfucker. Listen, man. I think think if you're getting bombed on on, on a stage that big, it's like a sobering moment. And and when and when niggas is in that in that vein, the truth be coming out. So when he started hauling all that fuck black people and I ain't messing with black people shit, I think we giving him an unnecessary pass right now. Like JB needs to get back in the vein of who he is and where he come from and who holding him up. That's a good point. That's trash mm-hmm. to me. Like on some real shit. No, that's a good that's point. Out of line, nigga. Like that's you don't point. go to Atlanta, fucking Chocolate City, and you out here talking about fucking black people, and I don't like. Just because you've been with Larry David, the Seinfeld click. Yeah. You yeah. shoot Larry joke ain't working. Niggas ain't shit. But let me let me say this. Marcus King told me before. He he said, comics got to learn how to bomb, because in in bombing gracefully, you can actually turn the crowd. You can actually. Make you could be band, losing right. and then turn the crowd. Man, There's one a way of my homeboys bombed so bad at this school. This nigga say, "Hold up, man. I'm black. We black. Don't do that." So they gave him a chance. They was like, all right, all right, come Uh-oh. on, man. Yeah, hey, got him back. Yeah. He said, I'm finna come with it. I'm about to come with the thunder now. Uh-oh. Ooh. We was in the back like, <laughs> oh, my God. That next joke wasn't shit. Uh-oh. They started back. Uh-oh. Boo. Uh-oh. Back at you, yeah. nigga. that comic that says thunder? Uh-oh. I'm about to bring the thunder. That's nigga. what he said. I'm about to bring the thunder. Who the fuck I'm was about that? to bring it. That nigga talk like an old white person. lion on, nigga. That's who I was. get it, but this nigga thinks he's Thor on stage, nigga. Yeah, I'm about to bring the thunder. It was in that like moment. Lion nigga. Nigga. Lion the thundercat, the thunder, nigga. The thunder, 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 there ain't no nigga. moment like when you're oh! around a whole <laughs> bunch of people booing you. I mean, that moment is surreal. You just be sitting up there being rejected. It's like it'd be in slow motion. People be like, whoa, good. <laughs> What's worse than the boo is the, the unanimous inhale, nigga, that they all do before they boo. Right. You hear the silence and <gasps> you be like, fuck. But when a little kid about to scream, don't do it right. to me. <laughs> boo. Michael Winslow would have been like, <laughs> Boing <laughs> Boing <laughs> He'll walk off Strip 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 hey, Oh bomb. shit D know this motherfucker D talking about She texting him now <laughs> Michael Wesley say I want to holler at that nigga <laughs> Are you texting this motherfucker right now <laughs> No not right Ain't now Ain't that you supposed to stick around After Let's the bomb that nigga and up in here. That in? Yes that would be so much fun <laughs> Fuck no It's a rule to hang that goddamn mic up Paul Mooney bombed at the Shack show Yeah oh, did he? They fixed that shit When they showed him on that shit I was like them motherfuckers put them laugh tracks in. Yeah. Nigga Paul Why Mooney took crowd? an L at that shit. Really? Were they too young? Were they young, like a young crowd? He came out there with that. He had that. You remember when Neo, Here when he go. first fought that motherfucking shit? He go. had that outfit on. He on had, the Matrix. He had on the uh, trench coat, uh, the right. whole black. Right. Remember when they was fighting the motherfuckers on the roofs? Yeah. They got the helicopter. Yeah. He had on one of them outfits. <laughs> God dang so it. So they was like. Everybody already was like, <laughs> and the truth is, the truth is, on that Shaq shit, <laughs> he came out right after me. All right. Oh. And that was one of my greatest sets. That was one of my greatest sets. Which one? Not with the guy skipped across. Yeah. 
That one? He, yeah. he was after you? And they brought Paul Mooney on oh. after that. And he went up there, hey, motherfucker, how y'all doing? <laughs> uh-huh. He just totally oh, ignored this outfit he got on. Right. <laughs> Maybe that was part of his shit. <laughs> no, nah, he what thought he was What did the nigga say, Corey? Hey, your boy hey, Chappelle. <laughs> Look here. Oh, Let me I tell you something. Oh, Nate was with the I'm about to talk about like everybody him. except the homosexuality. I'm down uh-huh. with. Oh, stop. <laughs> yeah, your, your boy Chappelle went now, hard on true. Monique last night. Wow. <laughs> Did he? Oh, Nate. Nate was with him, right? Nate. Chappelle. Hold on. I want to hear this. People want to know. Chappelle was talking about Monique? He did it in the vein of like, you need to do your research. Right. You know what I'm saying? Because he's like, you, bitch, you run around here talking about 500,000. I went in. He said what you said when we talked about it. He said, I, I went all in to the tune of 50 million. You don't know what I've been through in this game. Don't speak on my business. The same shit we was talking about. He basically she a hater, funny. bitch. Monique a hater, bitch. And I don't give a fuck if I ever see her. I hope that she don't be fool enough to try me. Like, I mean, because what she did, Charlemagne and Charlemagne's show, I felt like right. she was kind of aggressive with this shit. Right. Don't try me, little sister. Don't do that. Just if you got something to say, you can say it, and I'll listen. And then I'm going to say something back because I'm not Charlemagne. I'm not that good. Charlemagne was very well, good person he, well, on that, that show. Well, not just his show, so he knew what he was doing. You, can you imagine? Charlemagne, Charlemagne ain't want to fuck his money up. Hey, that's what I'm saying, yeah. Good, smart, wise brother. Yeah, he's cute. While you out here talking shit, Charlemagne still getting it, motherfucker. You ain't they getting it no more. she's not right. Oh. Who? She's wrong. No, she's not, not wrong, wrong, but she's, she's right. Not right. Who said that? Dave said, Dave. She's, not said wrong. she's not right, but she's not wrong. Yeah, he said she, he consider her a legend. Like, you know what I'm saying? But it's different levels, basically, what he was saying. And, you know. He gave her ups, too. He was yeah, like, he gave her a props. show, man. You a comedian, right? right. Oh, I love you a comedian? Am I a comedian? Yeah. I ain't trying to diss you. I'm just saying. You a comedian? Yeah, yeah a comic, too. Give me a Monique joke right a now. A comic, too, nigga. A Is joke? You just Give me a Monique joke. I didn't say I was a fan of her. Skinny bitches. Skinny bitches. I'm Be funny. not eating. Sometimes. Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. I'm not gonna lie. That ain't the joke. I don't know. That's that's really what she do. She go off her hype. Them skinny bitches, I can't stand. I'm saying, what is the joke? I don't look. I I respect her. I don't know her, him verbatim, but I, don't, but I I'm like not a fan her stand of her comedy. I've always man. enjoyed her. What was the joke? She's always funny no, to me. How do I no, she's I'm funny. not like you. I don't have but that you know, where I retain stuff. But I'm saying I've always enjoyed her. I've I, never I, walked I, off. I've walked off a couple of other people though. Just like in hip hop, you got you she got gonna do rappers. big pussy jokes and she gonna preach. I'm just telling you. Yeah. If you ever go see her, motherfucker, call me a hate if you want to. Just like that debacle tour. What I dare you to go to that shit. I dare you. Go to that shit. Right. I you wanted stupid. to go when it was here in LA, but I couldn't. When you when you got a tour where the host ain't really cracking no jokes, it's a build up of tension. Don't you know when the host come out, people want to be relieved by I mean like I'm saying like you can't just dance for a minute and say some sucker shit and bring the nigga the niggas well, out. Well, first of all, I didn't know he was hosting it. I wanted to go because you thought I thought he was he was, Yes. <laughs> See, that's the only reason I wanted it. Damn it. Anyway, all right. Is Should we get into this? every day? No. Is what? It D-Ray doesn't doing say. Every day? They, they D-Ray switched. on that? D-Ray no, is on that. He is. See, nah, I'm fucking up. I don't want motherfuckers to be like I said. D-Ray wasn't shit. No, but they and keep whoever switching. else on that tour. Keep switching That's what people. I was saying. They got a whole bunch right. of acts. Throughout I'm the saying, country, they keep switching. The main thing I'm saying is uh, you know the D-Ray motherfucker no who supposed to carry this shit. That used to be like this. They used to do some more. Uh, we just Samoa spoke about her. We love some more. Yeah, some more had some jokes. Some more had some jokes. You know what I'm saying? Hella jokes. Funny. You you talk about motherfucker who? Okay, you go pay to go see her perform. I saw some more perform. Dog, it's hard to make me laugh. But some more had me dying. Some joke about the lipstick shit. I don't remember exactly how it went, mm-hmm. but I could give you the idea about it. I just don't want to put it out there in case she's still doing it. But I'm just saying, it's like motherfuckers who funny. You be re- you be saying shit they said. But mm-hmm. I worked with I worked with some more in uh, Ontario, and then six months later we did Phoenix, and she had a whole another hour. I was like, "What the what? fuck?" Mm-hmm. And like nine months later, I worked with her in Mississippi at Jackson, and she had a whole new hour. I was like, "This is ridiculous." Some more she funny. Did. She and had she a works, she had a bro. tour. She yeah. she that tour they had they did the whole country four five times. Mm-hmm. And you, girls, you ain't gonna hear me the say the tour ain't shit because it'll be I'll be lying. Cause the motherfucker host could hold her own. Who's this the shit host? here. All right, go see that shit. I invite you to go see it. 
I wanted to, but I just didn't want to pay for the tickets. Is it going to be in L.A.? I'll <laughs> yes, it was at the Microsoft. I thought it already passed. Oh, we missed it? I think so. Or it's I'll coming up. I'll go see it myself. I think it's coming Michael up. Michael Blackson and D-Ray on it. There's I'm going to go. Fire. Yeah, but we don't mm-hmm. know because they keep switching people on, on certain days. You know why they switch people, D? Because mm-hmm. on some days, motherfuckers just can't work for peanuts. Well, that but and on they, some and days when you ain't working, <laughs> motherfuckers will work for people. Well, that and they, those, and they got. You know thank saying? you. I was gonna say they got I'm other things to do. The five thousand dollars show for ain't no availability if a motherfucker giving you your money, Nate. Nah, you get what I'm saying? I'm already booked somewhere else. Thank you. <laughs> but you ain't gonna be booked nowhere else if a motherfucker giving you your money. Mm. I, when I, a motherfucker pay you right, no, but you already have. You something. are going to commit to the tour, <laughs> but you can't commit to the tour because the motherfucker ain't gonna pay you right. It, well, I hear what you're saying, but it's a little bit of both. Like, you were talking about doing Caroline's. Like, that's a dope-ass club in a dope-ass city with my nigga, and I couldn't do it. I was already somewhere else. So maybe so you switched somebody else in. You would have chopped that shit up if I... No, wait a minute. This week you was doing some shit with your um, fraternity brothers. Yeah. Right? So that would have been hard for you to pass up because you'd be needing that recognition and pet on the back. You know Is that what? why? <laughs> God damn it. Is that why? <laughs> <laughs> the cute dogs in that motherfucker like, hoop. Ooh, yeah. ooh. Okay. And then how they do that shit? Okay. I don't want to get beat up by all the Q dogs and shit, especially okay. them, okay. them gay right. Q dogs. Well, I'd rather find the real hard mm-hmm. niggas with uh-huh. my ass. Uh-huh. And them Q dogs at that party that was on the internet. That's, that's four for the founders. Remember that, remember that party, that Q dog party <laughs> on the internet? Mm-hmm. <laughs> and they don't like Gosh, talking that about that. I know, it was awful. Oh, man, I, so I, last night, let me tell this about They started Dave. playing Peebo Bryson at that Uh-oh. party. Uh-oh. Let me talk about what happened oh, with Dave. Al Jerome. Because Corey making up shit. God damn it. So last night, last night. I be fucking with her. Chappelle. I saw that picture. Yeah, so it's a story behind it. Oh. And I posted on Instagram. There was a few people in there like, tell it on 5150, nigga. So oh, I yeah. Tell it. But basically, I was there, and I was supposed to close the show out, and then Dave popped in and bumped me. Right? So I go to the bathroom for like two what minutes. What do you mean he bumped you? He came in. He <laughs> came into the yeah. show. They'll let what do you come mean? Oh, if those so people that don't oh, know. Oh, God. They when, don't you on a li- when you want to line up and, and a big name act come in, they can say, I want to go up now. And yeah. that means the regular lineup is shot. Like, yeah. That's Hollywood shit. That shit don't happen where I'm from. Well, or it didn't used to happen like that in Chicago. Motherfucker, give a fuck who is. <laughs> but that's what they do. They do. <laughs> yeah, well, Dave was a little different. Like I, I was like, if I'm going to get bumped, nigga, he might as well be the greatest. So whatever. Mm-hmm. So D-Ray's like, I went to the bathroom, came back. D-Ray's like, you just missed it. It just happened. I said, what? He said he wants to go up next. I'm like, fuck, where's he at? <laughs> He said, you over in the corner. I said, all right, I'll be right back. He said, nigga, what are you about to do? I said, I'm about to get unbumped. He said, nigga. I walked off. I said, man, Dave, excuse me, but um, can I please do what I'm about to do before you do what you're about to do? He was like, how much time he was going to do? I was like, I was going to do 15, 20, but I'll do 10, 11, maybe 12. You said that today? Yeah. yeah. Oh, that's a good nigga. And he said, these headliners out here be like, who is this? <laughs> right. That's you know what I mean? Goes, goes, <laughs> yeah. 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 But he was just like, uh, he was like, you know what, nigga? Do your thing. I'm like, who? So I go back. I'm like, D-Ray. Doing the voice. D-Ray, he said it's cool. D-Ray's like, nigga, did he really say it was cool? Or did you go down there and tell you, he tell you fuck, no? And you came back and said, I'm still going to do it anyway. And I was like, you wouldn't do that. Yeah, you, you wouldn't right. do that. Right. So I said, no, my mom. He was like, he was like, you know, because D-Ray be, he's like, your mom, nigga. Like, some See, of y'all Nate, let me tell y'all something. Y'all. Nate big, y'all. Nate punk. That man, nah, out of here. Get the fuck out of here, nigga. Like a Y'all stupid. Yeah, I went over there. They got up on that nigga. He was like, <laughs> got the cigarette out the nigga's mouth. And I rubbed his head and said, nigga, you don't let me go up, nigga. No, nigga. It was hella humble, nigga. And he was like, go ahead. So I did my thing, but this is what was dope, right? So he goes up. He does like 45 minutes standing ovation just because people are so happy to see him. He really was kind of like saying, he said, his opening joke was, you know why I'm here, man. Just basically to say, fuck face on. And then he does his shit. So we're out in the lobby. And uh, Sexy Marlo's like, David, David Chappelle, sexy right? Marlo. On the groupie side of the like, game, Marlo, that's the homie, name. though. She was on the show. She was I'm performing. with Sexy Marlo. And so then um, he was like, how you been, Marlo? You good? She's like, yeah, David, I'm good. Right? Huh? I'm getting this uh, Tiffany Haddish money. And he was like, all right. And I was like, David, man, I appreciate you for letting me go up. He was like, man, the way you asked me was so. Fuck out my face. I can't remember. No. Everybody not an asshole, nigga. He was okay. just like, the way you asked me was so. Stay in character. He yeah. said something that was uh, a derivative of humble. Like, I still can't remember it. But it was like he said a word that fucked you up like that. No, I just couldn't remember what he said. He was like it was honorable or whatever. But basically, he was just like the way you asked. I I, I decided Did he give to you do his it. phone number. What for what? I don't know. He might have thought she was funny and go on the road with her. Maybe. Who knows what'll happen? Shit, I uh-huh. rocked in front of that nigga and he saw me. 
And There's, he respected how you asked. That was yeah. I respected how you asked. He put Gerard Carmichael yeah. and Jack Black on? Or Jack Knight? Who the I'm fuck not was looking for what a handout. Like it wasn't even on. about all that. Gerard got his stamp. Oh, I know you. That's that comic that had the TV show, oh, right? Ashley yeah. Larry, beat your ass for you to let you open up. Fuck off. Say Ashley Larry will be like, look, we gonna have to put a hit on, put a hit on that nigga for you. Nah, that nigga's his best friend. They ain't talking about Donnell Rollins. You talking about Donnell? You wild? Cause they have Donnell kill you, nigga. Fuck you, talking today, fuck nigga. That's just so made up and dumb. They stay, they stay having other people to the show. But yeah. anyway, you said my set was cool. Like he was like, "That was a good set, man. You got talent." I was like, "Oh All shit, right. thank you." And then somebody was like, "Hey, let me get a picture." I was like, "You need to fuck up my moment, nigga." Did right while like, you was talking. Yeah, let me get a picture. Nigga. I was like, "Fuck, this big head bitch." Now I yeah. put my shit on camera. I was like, "Nigga, let me get one too." He was like, "Come on with it." And that was nice. Picture, yeah. And then that come on with it. Nigga walked off into the night. Man, all I he know, do I, that, all I know, know of Dave is that He's mellow. Solid. Motherfucker, I ain't never seen him out of character. Like, fuck you, nigga. I ain't never no, seen that shit. He, he always mellowed. The nigga was thorough, man. He respected I was there one day when Dave, he performed at the improv one night. Then after that, he took everybody down to TMZ headquarters and we took pictures in front of that motherfucker. <laughs> Why? I said, just on some crazy shit. He was like, y'all want to go down to TMZ? <laughs> everybody was like, yeah. They was a big ass car convoy. We was all down there parked yeah. on Sunset. That we didn't give a fuck. Yeah, that was funny, that. nigga. That was funny, Dave. But, uh, <laughs> yeah, no, talk about that shit, man. Look, man, this comedy game, cold-blooded, man. Uh, I know I be talking that shit, man, but uh, I'm just saying, we we can't motherfucking blame the L's on black folks. If you are on a tour that is performing in front of predominantly black people, when it go bad, don't shit on niggas. Fuck no. If a nigga wouldn't have nothing, Brady got a notoriety without black people. Furthermore, we the litmus test. If you can rock our crowds, you can work anywhere on the fucking planet. Yeah, if your shit, if so you, when if it you, don't work, nigga, don't throw it back at the people who yeah, live that's, right. that's trash. Nigga. If the streets don't fuck with you, dog, you ain't nothing. You a nobody. You a motherfucker who need they help. You is he, need is he them. Too far gone. Is who? he too far into the side and nah, he can redeem to appreciate himself. black people? Who, JB Smooth? Again? Nah, because he ain't a, he ain't Man. he ain't nowhere near Chappelle, nigga, and Chappelle stay connected. I'ma tell you something about motherfuckers. It's some motherfuckers out here who real funny, but they been in Hollywood too, too long. long. Yeah. They are living in houses away from everything they grew up around and they like they little um, different race of bitches and everything about them is away from the motherfucking streets. No, look, look right. I'm just keeping it real. Right, like, right. I see these niggas. I be like, oh, this your wife. They detached. Yes, this is, um, she's from Scotland. And, and I be like, and this is where they hang. Rebecca this is what Stan. they do. This is, <laughs> they Rebecca are Stan. out, right. They are out <laughs> of touch. Stan, that's funny. Rebecca Stan, <laughs> right outside of Russia. But if they get back in touch, <laughs> they probably could get their edge back. <laughs> Yeah. If they if they if you back out here in it, did you lose the talent altogether, or yeah. or or did you motherfucking just you just away from everything that made you famous? I don't know, man. Because I know what got you. I know what got you to audition for Larry David show, my nigga. You was JB Smooth, one of the baddest motherfuckers in the underground, motherfucker. Mm -hmm. Used to rock room. That is a funny. He did one of the funniest sets I've ever seen live in my fucking life. No, I Jay, never Jay laughed like that. Yeah, he's got he that face. Funny. That yeah, nigga I did laugh. one joke for twenty minutes about a broken rollerblade he had on, nigga, and yeah. I have not. I was in t literal, t and I was a comic <laughs> at this point. I don't be laughing at everybody like that. Nate, this Ricky nigga Smiley introduced me, me to JB Smooth. He yeah. said JB Smooth clothes, and I was like, somebody closing over me. Man, JB Smooth towed his place down. It was called Rees Lounge. I was like, who is? This motherfucker. <laughs> that was back when he was underground. Mm -hmm. JB Smooth, a killer. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Mm. That motherfucker used to. Motherfucker be, oh, JB going up. Comics, stop what they doing. <laughs> Shit, gonna go watch JB that Smooth. That nigga special still is. That nigga special is art, nigga. When that I, nigga did, was climbing all over his own set and shit at the, on Comedy Central. That oh, nigga yeah. make you laugh at your TV. Oh, you, you saw me laughing like, hard at home watching. Listen, you're missing a dynamic. Like live you, comedy is the best way to see it. You see that, the joke when he do the gay magnet? No, no, no that's that's game magnet. Oh, he said this motherfucker got a gay magnet on it, and then he be like, Ooh, "Get the fuck off me!" <laughs> 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 he, he make himself look like he trying to crawl forward, but he going back, and he the gay magnet. <laughs> the gay magnet, nigga. When he did that shit, I think he did it on Comic View back in the day, nigga. It was. <laughs> Destroyed it. Now I gotta Google it. 
The gay <laughs> man that jumped. The gay man. Get off me and stop, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> That's probably what got him booed in Atlanta. <laughs> The gay man. Oh, no, they gay the, they the gay the standing over for that shit in Atlanta. A gay joke. They get that nigga key to the city. Nigga. Right. <laughs> wow. Yeah. <laughs> See, you, when you can, <laughs> when you can recite somebody's joke and people laugh, just and I ain't even doing it like he doing it, because can't nobody do it how he do it. You know, J.B. Smooth used to be all on the ground. Right, right. He was fighting trying to get up off yeah. that nigga running from that magnet. <laughs> <laughs> shit fucking hilarious, and you just J. said B. it. Smooth. Yeah, he Hilarious. I, I hope like he ain't too far gone, man. Damn. Nah, he ain't no, too far gone. That so. nigga got to get back out here in these motherfucking streets, you dig? They be like, ain't no money out there. Fuck it. I don't got to do with black people no more. You got to start over sometimes. You got to reinvent yourself, man. That's what I'm doing right now, but I'm reinventing myself on the other side. Right. I'm too hood. I'm, I'm out to prove because I got dogged out by these motherfuckers. I can still be me. It's just I got to tweak some shit a little bit just to show you. A hood motherfucker can make motherfuckers laugh from Iowa because the whole motherfucking nation is hood. If you really want to tell the truth, everybody right. popping pills, yeah. everybody Uh-oh. in the street. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Motherfucker, white people, motherfucker, yeah. act like if you say what's up to somebody from Iowa, they don't know what that mean. They know what the fuck it mean. Mm-hmm. Mm. What is some street shit that motherfuckers won't know now? I mean, it's the TV is, cable is out. Right, because they can see all that. They watch First, first 48 and all this shit. And their kids listen to Cardi B and all that stuff. So everybody knows, right. So they get it. They hear all that stuff. They know street. Even the old couples in Vegas be like, so what we on tonight? Oh, oh what we on? <laughs> <Stop>. <laughs> Man. I'm trying to fuck with that motherfucking Olive Garden if you're trying to fuck with it. <laughs> These are the old white people from Iowa. <laughs> oh my gee, I'm telling you, we yeah. about to go in. And, and the, ones that are, the ones that really want to like feel you and get into the black folks, Mexican folks, they really go over the top and they try to be like down with you so hard. It's like, oh, they be stop. They cut it out. Yeah. <laughs> oh, <man. laughs> okay. Right. Hell yeah. Oh, I can't. Ooh. We'll be showing off their Air Force Ones. But look. Girthquake. Girthquake. They call it Nate Girthquake. Nate equals Girthquake. God damn. Cedric, fuck you and Ohio. Damn, you gonna say fuck Ohio? Just because you from there, dickhead. Girth that. Oh, it's behind. I love it. The delay. Motherfuckers be trying their best telling me. I I hate this Ustream shit too, dog. We gotta find a different way. But don't y'all realize my show is like a real TV show? We use different cameras and shit. We YouTube can YouTube have it where you can have different cameras like this? I think so. Yeah. You gotta you gotta have the software they're making everyone get now. So they so basically they saying the software we got is out of date and you gotta get the new software. You gotta upgrade. You need to put that in your act. Okay, so we quick. Fuck it. We gonna try this other shit. Mm -hmm. What? (laughs) Can you, Genevieve and Frank? That's not funny. Can we do this while we on the air? I'll give you my credit card if we have to. Can we set that shit up, or is it software you have to buy physically? No place for earthquake in my act. Nigga, we we can buy it on air. (laughs) 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 Well, let's see about buying it on air and. Get it over there. What is we'll, it, OBS, Frank? And we'll, we'll, we'll broadcast. No. <laughs> she said, Jennifer said, get the credit card, motherfucker. <laughs> All right. So what we going to do, we going to try some Wait, shit. Guys. While we on air right now, okay. I want to purchase you, this you YouTube this shit. Continue. And I want to <laughs> see, can we air from both? Can we do that? Uh, we might have to stop and restart. But. We might have to stop and restart? <laughs> I want to try this shit. I want to try some new shit because if the Ustream shit is fucking up this bad, because people be going at that, they be going at this Ustream. Then when you said you was going to switch it up. What's up? started late. Let's just do this one and then I stay a little longer so we can run a test on YouTube. Oh. We're gonna we gonna yeah. run a test on YouTube. We, we rocking, yeah, man. So we're gonna you do our first the best. Right we're gonna do our first song on the new channel. How about uh-huh. that? Uh-huh. Is there some uh-huh. dope shit? Uh-huh. That's some different shit, right? Mm-hmm. <laughs> Play Jackson. We good, Deadpool? Yeah, it's you fucked me up already. Deadpool. Uh-oh. That shit made me fall yeah. everywhere. <laughs> no, YouTube yeah. is the best. It, it, it works for me. You gotta put that in your act, too. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Play Jackson? Yeah. What they Plate. call him? Play Jackson. Play Jackson. Plate Jackson. <laughs> 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 hey, so I'm gonna give y'all the credit card. <laughs> you not gonna, you not. Elmo Smith, no. And we'll uh, figure this uh, shit that's out. Funny, that's funny, No, okay. All right, during the break, will it take a long time, or should I give it to you now? Uh, it ain't 
fucking with it. No, no During the break. Jokes. All right. Thanks, Frank. All right, All right follow us over to there. You see Somebody say, this can't now. end well. Not right now. Uh-oh. Boo. <laughs> yeah, because it's going right now. Look, we, they're like, don't mess with Ustream. It's, it's going right. right now. Right. Fuck this Ustream shit. Ustream. We have to get rid of it because they're getting rid of it. Ustream's getting out of here. Right. We're going to get into D shit because a lot of shit happened that I don't want to step on her shit about, but I want to definitely speak <laughs> on what's really going on in the United States of America. So yeah, well, I'll, this is I'll, a segment of the show that has been a part of the show uh, for a long time. Um, it's called D's Loose, Loose Talk, Talk About, about Bullshit. bullshit. Yeah, yeah. That was the best one. Thank you, fellas. Ooh. All right. Go ahead, D. Strange through that motherfucking <laughs> oh little God. text. I felt the testosterone on that one. All right. Well, congrats. <laughs> My eyes bleeding. She can't see. Stop. Out I can. My bad, D. Go ahead. Uh, I want to give. I, I don't want to get into that deeper stuff yet. Anyway, I just want to give congrats to Kendrick Lamar for being the first ever Dope. rapper to be awarded a Pulitzer Prize for yeah. his album Damn. Yes. Way and now a Pulitzer, if you're not aware, what a, Pul- a Pulitzer is an award given for the achievement in journalism, literature, and music. Only 13 recipients are awarded every year. This is the very first one ever in 60 years to go to a mu- go to a musician other than a classical or a jazz artist. No other genre has ever been given one. Also, Kendrick will be the headliner in this year's Hot 97 Summer Jam, which will be celebrating its 25th anniversary uh, June 10th at the MetLife Stadium in East Rutherford, New Jersey. That's also, big. yeah, also Team uh, Little Wayne, Swiss Beats, and many others. So, congrats, Little congrats, Wayne. Kendrick. Kim- mm-hmm. Kendrick Lamar. Yes, you're way better than Mystical. You just gonna keep. He was going. talking he shit about. He was talking Mystical's shit about dope, Mystical. man. He Mystical was very dope great. MC. I like him. Better than Congratulations, Kendrick. little brother. Thanks for putting me in We're your video. We're not We're not debating that. We don't want to go into Kendrick that. Brother Kendrick Lamar, we are very yes. proud of you. Real talk, man. Yes, yes sir. A, a, a brother who uh, has confidence. Yeah. Uh, and consciousness. And, and consciousness. Yeah, man. Kept his original chick. That's right. Yeah. Kept his original chick. Confident, consciousness, Loyal? same chick. Mm-hmm. Good. Nate, you want to add a cookies on? Uh-oh. I'm so what? glad there's somebody bigger than me on the show now. Oh, you know ah! Oh, look at <laughs> it. Damn, Nate. Nate can fail. How much That's you weigh? It. What the Wait, wait. What are the what are the measurements? Nate, it's what not even. I... It's not even. You How bigger than you me, weigh? Nate. Nate, you bigger no. than me. How much you weigh? You bad. How much you weigh? You obese, Nate. How much you weigh? You obese. You know what? We're gonna bring a scale in here. I got my karate sticks. Next week we're gonna bring a scale. Bring a scale. Nate weigh more than me. That's obvious. Yeah, but Corey's solid. He's made out of Donkey Kong barrels. Oh, oh. <laughs> wait. Who's taller? Nate's taller, right? <laughs> Nate's taller. Nate. Nate a big motherfucker with them church a lady tall. arms. Oh. You know what? I got church lady arms. You're gonna get the double clap. That's all you can do. That nigga Corey covered up this week. (laughs) (laughs) Long ass tattoos. I can't. I can't. I can't. I'm surprised y'all ain't get on my pants. We can't see them. I can't. You ran in here. See you next. I got some stretch looking pants. <laughs> you got zippers everywhere. With them thick old calves. <laughs> uh oh. He's different. opening up some zippers. All right. Some, the knee zipper. Keep it closed. All right, here we go. Nobody wants to see the knee meat tonight. Oh, yeah, strain through that All breeze. right. Also, big ups to Mexican boxer Francisco Vargas. If you didn't see the fights on ESPN this weekend, he, there, this was a featherweight fight you know the max for featherweights only 126 anyway anyway um he had a fight this weekend um against a man named rod salka um old rod apparently thought it'd be very funny to make a political statement he's a republican Mm. and so he wore a pair of red white and blue themed shorts that had a trump border Mm -hmm. type wall pattern painted on the shorts Mm -hmm. along with the words america first Bad choice ah! because Francisco nickname his nickname is El Bandito ended up beating the shit out of Rod the to a bloody mess. Shit. Yes. The story says what source says beating oh, the shit. Wait, that's that's these beating edit. That's the these shit copy. out of him. So hey, he beat the shit out of that motherfucker. Yes, he did. Real. A bloody mess. And by the sixth that round, mo- Rod's corner had to throw in the towel to end the fight. Wow. So <laughs> that's, that's called ball. justice right there. Yeah. Yeah. This motherfucker got some <laughs> some some boxing trunks on with the did wall. I get that <laughs> That oh, was some damn dirty it. shit. I thought I sent it. That was fucked up. 
Yeah. <laughs> if you look it up, you'll be you guys will be able to see. It's hilarious. Yeah. Yeah. If these walls could talk, <laughs> right? Dumb, dumb ass. That's what he gets. Right. Then he got stomped. That's stomp. right. You was glad he got his ass whooped, didn't he? What, what do you mean? Oh, of wow. course, for doing that. Yes, right. for doing that. It's very disrespectful. <laughs> yes. Very Shout out to Mexican food. <laughs> ah, that's hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so moving on to some <laughs> some heavier <laughs> stuff. We know what's going on nine thirty. All right, so of course you guys, everybody's Somebody aware. Say I got on leg warmers. Fuck y'all yeah. niggas. Y'all can't steal. I think I got on yoga pants. Uh-oh, yeah. <laughs> That's about the same thing. Sleeves are made out of the same was, shit as pants. Them was Martian <laughs> baseball <laughs> pants. Uh-oh. <laughs> Uh-oh. Yeah, that's a good one. <laughs> baseball uniform. They got on the satchel pages. Yeah. They make me look aerodynamic, though. Yeah, oh. yeah. It's all like an arrow dumb ass. And then he got the shirt with the Hasidic juice, the things hanging down on the sides. Uh-huh. If you had on these pants, you would look like a fat bitch shopping. <laughs> Shopping? You them fat bitch shopping in them stretch bags? You be like, bitch, you up. Don't walk past the produce with that shit on, you fat got bitch. Arms like top Greg look like a dumbass. Oh my no, God. No, you got them motherfucking uh, tower of blubber ass arms. Here we go. go. <laughs> you got two bottom lips. You got about. You got about you got, go. about you got about three, four more years before the wiggle start. Uh-oh. You're still young, so it's still together. But after a while, they gonna be like, look. No. <laughs> <laughs> you got, you got like a bobble head. <laughs> bobble arms. They, they need to make better. that thing. <laughs> bobble arms. Oh my God. Well, I'm going to bring that shake weight in next week. <laughs> <laughs> people get car he got you. She's called, she said shake weight. I didn't car necessarily accidents. say they safer bring Corey in to bite them out. <laughs> I hear you say that. I missed it. It probably was a good one. I missed it. <laughs> okay. Moving on. By now, of course, everybody's aware of all that Starbucks, uh, Star- Starbucks drama. What they say? Uh, anyway, arms. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> by now, of course, if you haven't heard, the two black men in the Philadelphia area store um, met up in a private meeting with Starbucks CEO Kevin Johnson. They finna get fucked. Uh, the two, the, those are the fellas that were arrested. They finna get fucked. He no, apologized to them. No, they're not. They finna get uh, fucked. He apologized to them, and now, on May 29th, all Starbucks stores and their corporate offices will close in the afternoon to conduct a racial bias training. 8,000 stores, oh, right? All calling. of them. What did they get arrested for? They were just, just <laughs> loitering, essentially. Is it an emergency? I doubt it. Okay. And 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 the owner the owner the CEO of Starbucks uh, sent a personal message and then flew sh- directly to there to meet them with them because the he know what was gonna happen he don't want that shut the fuck down but now here to we happen. go That's not but it's culture, not man. just one look look let me tell you something man let me For, go ahead I'm sorry go ahead okay dude. no I'm gonna finish because here we go now just as that's happening the very same day that all this is trying you know they're trying to uh, spin and clean things up and everything here in Los Angeles. A young fellow was refused. Where's his name at? I got it right here. Mm-mm-mm. In Torrance, Brandon Ward. He's 26 years old. He walked into the Starbucks in Torrance here in Los Angeles area, asked to use the restroom and get the code, and the lady refused to give it to him. She said he hadn't bought anything yet. At the very moment she told him that, the door was opening to the men's room. He walked over there. And he asked the gentleman that was coming out, a young fellow like himself, but he was Caucasian. And he something? said, yep. And he asked him, he said, did you buy anything before you went to the bathroom? He's like, no. And he looked at him all strange. He goes, uh-huh. So he started recording. And he, and he said, he asked the woman, like, what's wrong with you? Is it like my color, my skin? This is ridiculous. And, of course, they call security and the same kind of crap happened to him. But, but this is what I was she- trying to say. Right. You're not go- the him meeting up with the people that got fucked over is not gonna fix anything. They finna make it where they finna sign some shit to get some money and get the fuck on. That's what that meeting is about. I done been at them meetings before. Pass them niggas a couple of dollars and get them the fuck on. Mm. You have to fix America. Period. Before you fix this, because the truth is there are a lot of prejudice. Caucasian folks and a lot of self-hating niggers. Mm. Take that word and run with it however you want. Like I say, I'm a nigger comic, but whatever. Self-hating niggers in this country. So it ain't just the white people who are trained to stop you from going to the bathroom or sitting in a Starbucks. Mm. You got niggers who think that you ain't supposed to be in here. Get on up out of master place. What you doing in here? You ain't bought nothing. You can't have no internet in here, boy. Mm. I'm saying the world is literally that bad. 
The yeah. world is as bad as it's ever been. During slavery, of course there was coons. But now, mm. coons are not even looked at as something wrong with them. Stephen A. Smith still has a job on ESPN and he talks shit about black people. I'm right. just saying, like, back in the day, black people would have marched against Stephen A. Smith. Right. They'd have been like, he cannot represent us on television. Right. Now, because this happens so much, whatever the fuck. It's like, no matter what happened, did, didn't other racist shit happen this weekend? Mm-hmm. That is not even, it ain't nothing. That lady who got killed by that cop in Minnesota is Australia, represented right. by Australia. Something gonna happen to that cop. That cop who shot that lady he for no reason. He going to jail. He right. going to... Something going to happen to that Death motherfucker. Penalty, right. And I ain't talking about just whatever happened in court. Australia will not let that motherfucker get away with this. Mm. When somebody do something to us, it ain't no motherfucker who going to do it. Ain't, it ain't a motherfucker in this world finna step up for black people except us. And we don't have a weaponry to go out there and do what we really need to do. Because marching and, and voting ain't about shit. Barack Obama was the biggest joke in black history. Mm-mm. Black uh-huh. history in America, Barack Obama was the biggest joke in black history <laughs> to me. A man who never stood on nothing for black people except told them, quit marching out there in Baltimore when that motherfucking ha- shit happened with that boy who got killed. Right. And, and be glad this gay player came out. That's the shit I remember about Barack Obama. I'm trying to think what else he did. Is it something I'm forgetting? Somebody yeah. said Obamacare one day. I'm like, oh, yeah? Well, kill your ass in the doctor and, 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 and let me see this Obamacare work for you. Yeah, but that's better than not having any at all. I that's what for, they want you to think. Be glad you got something. No, because you can't afford it otherwise. We that, couldn't have. That's why, I say, yeah. that's why I say this company is as bad, this country is as bad as it's ever been. If you know what's happening in the healthcare system right now, it's basically, there's, there's no healthcare. No, there is. They but taking it. All the way, especially if you old. Right. They are basically making it where if you old, we want you to die and get it over with. If you know anything about health care. No, well, you. we don't right. want you to die. We're going to extend you on medication is what they're going to do. What well, so. medication going to get you anyway? Send you anyway. home. Right. All right. I'm gonna Make end, them comfortable. I'm going to end it on something cute. I think this is cute. I'm going to lighten it up. I'm going to have more on this Starbucks. I'm going to have more on this Starbucks shit. I looked no. at you the whole time. You, you held it. Ain't nothing mm-hmm. wrong with having different opinions. Um, Nate what? doesn't feel that way probably about um, the presidency well, and stuff like that. Nate, it's it's just my opinion. Right. Of course. <laughs> he said he's about to cut his wrist. He's about to cut his wrist. My opinion does not reflect the opinion of everybody up here, and that's what makes this show beautiful. Right. You can do your arms. Right. Go ahead, Craig. What was you going to say? <laughs> that no. nigga still heard about that arm. Oh, I'm going to get oh. that arm flap joke. If you put your arm out the window while you're driving, it's going to sound like this. <laughs> 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 that's fine. <laughs> Stop <laughs> laughing and snap back. It's just me. Your arm, your arm look like them things at the wow. car lot. They be, be blowing and shit. That oh, shit. No, oh, oh, I said that last week about you. Damn. No, you did. That's my job. I get it out. He did. He did. He did. Oh, I didn't remember. Ask your arm. They remember. <laughs> little ass arms. Look at Corby doing push down. Oh, oh, oh wow. <laughs> Fall down. Oh, no, I can't. Anyway. All right. I know. As far as Obama, though, he had some progressive tax reform and he did do some, some interesting stuff by releasing some prisoners. So the nigga was shackled by the job. I'm not saying that he was the. He definitely didn't do enough for black people, but there's no nigga that could have did anything in his position. They, I don't give a fuck if it was. Uh, Tariq Nasheed, if he would have won presidency, they wouldn't have let that nigga pass. No okay, now this going to sound like some funny shit, but if Tariq Nasheed was president of the United States, not like I could see him being stupid enough to run for that sucker-ass position, but I believe he would do the most powerful thing anybody could do, and that's speak on it. No, Obama sure. never spoke on it. Right. For sure. Because he didn't want to be looked at as the bad guy. Right, right, right. The the the, the nigga the, oh you this that and the other get yeah. the fuck out of here, man. But they're not finna oh. let no nigga do anything to the institution. They're gonna let you but say see, what you right. want to say. But see, that's the delusion of black people. Instead of just being real 
about what he represented, it's which was, was mm-hmm. which was you know which was it. image. Right. All it was was image. We look, you know, black men look better, I guess. Right. right. Because he sat in that seat. Mm-hmm. But to be deluded to think politically we would gain ground. I mean, to I mean, have an opinion on Barack Obama is like having an opinion on a nigga playing the Superman character in a movie. You know what I'm saying? It's it's just a fucking. He had a game. role to play. The presidency is a character. It's not, yeah, it's not an action. You know what I mean? You can't do nothing as the president. No man, you that's can always speak on world. it. Really? You Absolutely. can really. Yeah. What'd you say, Nate? More po- get Trump out. I missed that's it. That's the office. more powerful, most powerful. Well, job we're not is- saying it's not a powerful office. Well, if he got so much is- power, why didn't he speak on it? Well, the nigga saying, from I the, the, what the nigga, what, right. what a nigga from that. in Chicago, he can't act like he don't know because I know the work he did before he got to presidency. That's what I'm saying. So I, I know you know what's up. Yeah. And so was, while you there, what you got to say? Mm-hmm. You say it's good the gay motherfucker came out. Hell no, he was in them streets before. I agree <laughs> with Corey. So he definitely has no excuse for not trying to do something at least progressive to be like a nigga was here. But but first you Thank gotta you. Re- you gotta also remember there Put are levels. Footprint in that motherfucker. Nigga was here. Put a basketball right. hoop in the Oval Office or something, nigga. To have a dunk on. But do something where they know a nigga was here. Smoke some meat. No do something. Smoke oh, some oh, meat. Oh, oh, oh. You know what? He but there, there, there party. are levels of secrecy the over the office of the president. Agree. Right. Like there's things going on in the country that, or in the government, hmm. that the president doesn't know anything about, mm-hmm. and and is not afforded. Right. That information, he can go ask for it, As and they'll be like, "Right now, what's unfolding with, this, uh, yo, with you, the FBI you don't have a clearance for this, right? Now, right. right. You, you, no, this, this is not for you. Right. Go back well, to that got, office. Who got the clearance? Yeah, well, you gotta never understand. Know. The, Masters was one, but you gotta understand, we have a, a military, He's industrial, a military complex. complex. We make money off war. Mm-hmm. Six hundred and thirty-nine billion dollars. But the dumb bitch at the mall in Atlanta who told me something wrong with me for voting don't even know that. The mammy bitch who's sitting there trying to sign people up to vote and acting like everybody who don't want to vote is the problem. Yeah, but they also give, give What a disgusting give bitch. Like I can't stand out. them fucking bitches who <laughs> sit at these tables like when it's way. time to vote and be like, you know, are you registered to vote? And, and I'm bold. I'll be like, I don't waste my time with that stuff. They be like, <gasps> <gasps> Did you say you don't vote? Oh my God. He is Are they a- tired? I know, he they- don't even deserve no rights. <laughs> 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 like, what the fuck? You crazy bitch. You keep voting. I just don't understand why black people care about politics, man. It puzzles me. Because you have no political power if you have don't have any finances. Well, that's why people say just uh, the, the best thing they can do right now is just stick to local. You got to pay to lobby local. for change. That's the only way to have political right. power in this country. You got to have money to pay politicians to to change shit. Niggas need to start pulling their money together and making moves that are out. I wouldn't give a fuck if you pulled your money together. The hatred... For your skin color, mm. right, right, is above everything. Right, I don't give a fuck right. about that though. At no, at, at, they can't let you gain any ground. I think that's what it is. I mean, it don't to, matter if you not vote. That, not that you won't be able to. Not that it's impossible to. What do you mean? In what? But here's the thing. In though. in moving up <laughs> in power in this country, the Japanese, the Chinese, all these motherfuckers is coming in and buying up everything, everything. That's what it's about. It's about buying shit up, buying property, buying fixed assets, buying something that gives you value. They you, wouldn't sell it to you I if mean, you had all the money in the world. Niggas that have to <laughs> change and, and lobby because that's the only because that's the only way you can change things. If you this is a this is a company. I mean, a country that's based on ownership. This is a labor based country, which means you're either the labor or you're either the person dictating cost to the labor. And that's changing too. Yeah, right. Exactly. In terms of labor, like right, right. And I don't mean physical labor. I like just in mean, the next ten years, 90, 95, 96 percent of all jobs are going to be replaced, right. automated. Mm-hmm. Right. We're in the and middle of industry four point yeah. So when these rich mm-hmm. folks, they don't see black like we see black. Black is a brand of labor. Mexican is a brand of labor that we look at it as skin because it's attached to our culture. It's who we are. It's what we see. But they look at it as a, a black and a Mexican is just the brand of labor available to do the work that we have. They have no emotional attachment to it. They have no it's, it's not about colors, all about who's going to do 
the labor for the cheapest amount of money possible. And if you niggas won't do it, you want to march for your civil rights, then we'll let we'll let an influx of uh, uh, Hispanics in. If Hispanics won't do the do the work we need them to do, then we'll we'll bring in motherfuckers from Syria mm -hmm. and we'll other use, places. No, we'll use prisoners, right? Yeah, and they'll use prisoners. And and this is the context and this is the f frame of reference that they think from, and we think from a cultural perspective. So we'll never win because one is dealing with culture and one is dealing with just finance. They have no emotion attached to the way they move. Okay. So so, okay, you, you want to like say that. something, Nate? Because I don't want to cut nobody off. I want to get off what I got to say about what uh, Craig just Fuck out of here, DJ Sega. I beat your ass. Ain't nothing suspect about me, nigga. Uh, I <laughs> come see me, nigga. Is yellow. I, this is what I think, right? <laughs> I think that the system is set up a certain way. And I think oh, that culture, nigga. skin colors, finances, all of that bears weight on it. Ageism, racism, sexism, classism. Yeah, but I'm, I, it, it, you can't apply culture, the color, and say, oh, black labor, Mexican labor, and then they don't see color. They do, because it benefits them to see it. That's not, but, but, but look, when is the, let me, let me ask you a question. Or let me, let me, because <clears throat> we've had the same life experience. The only time that you're required to divulge your race is when you're seeking employment or seeking education. Education is tied to you get educated so you can be employable. It's all labor, bro. Now, for real. But you, look, you have look, to remember look. what you just said. Education, employment, consumption. Right. Don't forget that part. Yeah, this is a capitalistic thing. society. Education, employment, consumption. That's right. where power is at. Right. But this, this goes back to what we mentioned a few shows back in terms of wealth in America. 90% of the wealth in America is in the hands of white folk. Right. You have to understand that. There are 870,000 white families that are worth 12 million or more. That's Just crazy. regular people. Reg 870,000, 860,000 you know. families right. uh -huh. that are worth 12 million or more. For black families, this is all information from Antonio Moore, lawyer at UCLA and LMU, just came out with this hella paper that explains the wealth gap in America. 350,000 families in African American households that have one million dollars in cash one and for us to be in the top percentile of wealthy black families all you need is three hundred thousand dollars but when you start looking at there are millions of white families mm. worth millions of dollars okay so what i think needs to be also considered is where our community spends the money wait, wait, because, wait, wait. because whilst whilst that statistic is uh, is massive we are the ones that buy every goddamn thing. But you still only about no, we don't you buy only everything. allowed to buy shit like shit you can floss with. Right. You right. cannot mm. move up. Liability. You can't right. buy the Sears Tower even though it was for sale. Bam. That's not for right. sale, nigga. Not you, to you. I don't care right. how much yeah. money you yeah. got. Right. You can't have that. Right. Yeah. I and, saw. I saw. But I Nate, mean, you could tell with like the sale of the Carolina Panthers. Yeah, they but Nate, out like all the black people. Right. right. But Nate, come back to what you just said. You just said we buy everything. No, we don't. They'll <laughs> tell you, oh, black people, we got one point two trillion dollars spending power. What they don't tell you is white spending power is nine, ten times that. Right. Mm. So y y we don't buy everything. That's that's propaganda to say. See, y'all got it, and we give. They give us access <laughs> no to <Yeah>. liquid. <laughs> Let me tell you something, man. <laughs> the wicked motherfuckers of the world went to Africa and kidnapped generations of black people and brought them over here. On the way over here, mm -hmm. it was throwing niggas overboard. And when the ship got full, yeah, because they wasn't feeding you right. You mm -hmm. was chained next to a motherfucker. All this shit. I don't have to go through everything. Yeah. Right. This shit is not going to go undone forever. Right. One day, something going to happen where all these facts, like Craig gave a good, mm -hmm. he gave some good facts right there, or good opinions or whatever, all this shit, all this shit don't mean nothing. One day, something going to happen gonna where you are going to have to throw down. Yeah. One inside of the When we run out of oil. Yeah. It's going to happen. Because, oh, no. and, and you want me to tell you why they instigating it? Because they feel they got the power. They instigating it. This shit yeah. at Starbucks, 
all this shit, like I Trayvon mean, I mean, Martin, all the shit they are allowing you to see. Powder keg. They, building it up. They you want kidding? you to come at them because they feel like we ready for war. We can take them on. I mean, look what they did at Standing Rock. They were shooting people with all that stuff. Oh, yeah. Flint, yeah. Flint yeah. Michigan with the water. Nobody did anything. So, again, <laughs> so 90% while of the everybody, wealth. Okay, go ahead. Mm-hmm. White folk. 2.6% of the wealth. Even though black people make up 13% of the population of the United States, mm-hmm. 2.6% of the wealth is in the hands of black folks. Right. 2% of that is in the hands of baby boomers. 0.6% is everybody else. Oprah, Puffy, Jay, Beyonce, all the basketball players, all the rappers, and us is 0.6% of the wealth. So again, you, you have to understand, black people think because I have income, I got wealth. <laughs> no. Do you know that generational wealth grows faster than the economy of the country? Right. The economy of the country is growing at 2%. That's a good year. But generational wealth grows 5 to 7%, 5 to 8%. Mm. So white but, people what, don't Make sure you explain what income. generational wealth is. Generational wealth so is, people know. is homes, businesses, assets. just the whole asset. Well, fixed assets. But is, yeah. you, you get what I'm saying? Right. Institutions. What, does this sound right? What you're allowed to have. Because exactly. we're not allowed mm. to have certain shit. Right, like the do You could kiss these motherfuckers' ass all you want. The shit gonna jump off. And yeah. you gonna be right there in the way of the motherfuckers who've been practicing. Who've been flying, taking flying. Because if you ain't been on, if you ain't been practicing your really. point blank game, mm. you gonna be you gonna be in the way when it jump off. Because some of us going down <laughs> with a motherfucking bang bang. You get what I'm saying? <laughs> but all you motherfuckers who trying to vote your way in and just fit in and be a good. A uh, black person or, or Spanish uh, Mexican you person or the black, brown, head. yellow, red people trying to fit in. When this shit jump off, if you ain't ready, if your point blank game ain't ready, you gonna be in the motherfucking way with us motherfuckers who busting back. And don't be an idiot. This shit has already be happened right. before. It's go- it's going right. You know, I mean, look, they look up internment camps during World War Two, and every major city they took. Japanese people and they put them in internment camps. They took their they took their wealth and their resources. And when World War Two was over, they didn't give them their shit back. You right. know what I'm saying? And I mean, it, and it happened to us before them. So if you think that this shit ain't gonna cycle, so uh, is this do you really think Prince right. didn't have a will? Right. <laughs> the way they took over his shit and, and you just know, do you know and just passed it around like it ain't said, nothing. This is what they do to the black people that, that's on and top of their shit. Money, only the lawyers have it. None of his. None of his. The only uh, the lawyers have been paid five point nine million dollars. Mike Vick. When Mike Vick had that shit with them dogs, they wrote the legislation to hang him as they was trialing him. I'm talking about, this seemed like it's nothing. You could have a fucking will. Your will ain't shit in that courthouse when you dead. That's the same thing they did with Jack Johnson. It wasn't illegal. Mm-hmm. They, the pimping and pandering laws, taking women across states. Yeah, state exist. lines. Yeah. yeah, yeah. They did that so they could put his ass in jail. So, yeah, they, so, right. so again, white wealth. You just got to know who the fuck your enemy is. Mm -hmm. And if you don't know who your enemy is, which a lot of my generation, I mean, a lot of the generation under me Mm -hmm. have no idea who's fucking them over. In fact, Mm -hmm. they are infatuated by the people who fucking them over. Wow. And I'm saying like, you see them, they smile, they kick Mm -hmm. it with them, but this motherfucker ain't in the same position as you in. And if it boiled down to it, he going to show you what side he going to step on. But these motherfuckers ain't got no fucking ideas like that. Mm -hmm. When I'm talking to people who I feel like are not having my best interest, I'm aware of it. I'm cautious. I'm like, oh, shit. I'm in here. Mm. How I'm going to fix this? (laughs) These motherfuckers will have me fucked if I let them. I won't, I won't, I won't, I won't have shit. Right. Uh, you'll sign something. They train, not just, this ain't just what white people do. They train black people to make you sign some shit that they can use against you Contract, forever. Yeah. But if you got something on them, they'll act like that ain't shit. Right. That's overridden. That doesn't yeah. count in this yeah. particular That's context. overridden. Wow. <laughs> right. 
<laughs> that doesn't count. Here. I've never heard that. We want to just yeah. say you're a nigger. That's Man. why it won't work. But we'll find words to put it where you can't fight it in our system. Right. Because no matter what you say, we were brought over here in chains. This is their system. You want to vote into it and call the motherfucker who ain't down with that shit stupid? You are stopping progress. Right. But it seems right. like I'm stopping progress because I won't be dumb enough to vote in some bullshit. All right, so, so, so just look at it this let way. Me, let me shift this mm-hmm. a little bit. Like, what's so, let's be solution oriented. Because while we talk about what Obama didn't do, what you got in your we hand talk is about the where we at right now, what I'm looking at when I pay attention to politics now is a blue wave sweeping the country of Democrats that are progressive for us and our lifestyle. Like, I see change so, happening now I got you. because Trump is so bad. I got you. What really? Is a I got you. Let me, let me just say they're this. Nigga, they're they're Democrats are winning by 20 and 25 points in places where Trump won so, by but 30. Let me, let me, let's, let me, the swing is like 50-point be, be, swing. Well, even let me, let me clarify this for you real quick. You can't govern a people. You can't govern a country mm-hmm. without a script. Mm-hmm. Right? And any Do you good- understand that? Do, do people understand that? I mean, I get what you're saying. That's yeah. a deep thing. This you, is all a game. Y- you you got to have a script. And in every script, there's a protagonist and an antagonist. Mm-hmm. Right. Uh, any good script. So you got the Democrat and the Republican. Right. It's all a game. Both antagonists. Both antagonists <laughs> behind the scenes. <laughs> right, right. See, it's a game. But this is how you keep people engaged. Mm-hmm. You give them a story. Even to the religious point, the greatest story ever told, Christ. Right. So now you need a political Bible, constitution. You need something to get you out of act one. You get right. what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. So there's a narrative that's being pushed. Mm-hmm. You, you get it? Yeah, I understand what you're saying. But what, so the, what you guys are getting at is, is at the end of the day, is, you well, can't who's go, writing the story? So here, let me go back. You can't Your go, time on this planet, you should be enjoying more than you are. Because there was a time on this planet, or I'm just saying, where villages took care of the village. Right. This, we're living under chaos now. Don't nobody give a fuck about nobody. Everybody watching everybody. When a stranger talk to you, oh, yeah. you, you, you do like this. Mm-hmm. Who the fuck yeah. is this? Right. Yeah. That's why them boys got arrested in motherfucking Starbucks, because motherfuckers have been trained to hate us on site. Right, exactly. Mm. Which is why they're shutting down for a full day and trying some bullshit to fix it. So to go back trying to, to your, damage control, to that go was back a great your, idea. To go back to your solution. <laughs> the no, only, not back to it. Well, 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 let me go back. I'm going to address yeah, yeah. it. A solution for black people uh-huh. clearly has to do with politics and economics. Economics. Mm. At but the forefront. Let, let, let me tell you this. The only way to understand how to move forward Mm -hmm. is to understand exactly where we are. Right. We are three centuries behind white wealth. Yes. Three centuries. Three centuries. Ain't no affirmative. They are 300 years more wealthy than Mm -hmm. black people. Mm -hmm. Black people are the vibranium. Do you do you think this? Do you understand? We we are the we are the vibranium. We are the reason they're wealthy. All their Their wealth wealth comes in America. All their wealth in America came off the backs of slaves. Boom! All of it. And if you don't know that, you're out there trying to without without intentionally doing it necessarily. You're destroying your own people if you don't have the courage to say that okay. when you're in a room. So solution well, nobody, so, here, nobody so, here is unaware of that. So solution like, I, okay. I, I, Right now, I believe you're talking to the viewer or the listener. I'm definitely aware of where America's wealth came from. Okay, good. But so, okay, so solution, passed, okay. When other countries but solution number off one. Of our backs and slave, slaves. But solution number one is... War. We can't get it all back but you at one this, time. You aren't saying the same thing. Corey is heavy on some Garveyism, and I'm trying to. What does that mean? What does that mean? I don't know what that means. Okay, so so here, here's you say Garveyism. That's not a pan African. That's not a pan African thing. Let me explain it. So Dr. King was peaceful. Malcolm X was. We'll raise our hand if you raise your hand to us. Garvey was. Garvey go was. Back. Back. No, Garvey, Garvey was go to Africa. No, it wasn't even necessarily have to go and back. W B. Garvey was. We w. need to be our own self-sufficient people. We don't need to rely on them for shit. No, no. Our own water, our own drinks, our they own resources. That. And we'll be our own thing. But then Garvey resolved to say, they're not going to let us do it here. 
Fuck it. Let's go back to Africa. And well, do here's, our own the, shit. Now here's the thing. Garvey, that's Garvey. Uh, and that's But Garvey was also that undercut shit, that just by, just by W.E.B. Du Bois. Did you hear that? that was like, nigga. That's, oh, that's what, it. No, no, you're getting well, killed. I, I, Pan Africanism is something that existed before Marcus Garvey. So that's not Marcus Garvey. He's but Pan Africanism he, no, is what's Pan Africanism? Pan Africanism. He was birthed out of that. You know mm. what I'm saying? That's a, you know he was. But that's, what he is Pan Africanism? Can I, can I say something about what you said? There's nothing I just want here. You to explain that so you can understand the difference between Garveyism and Pan Africanism because there's a clear and concise difference between the two. Yeah, and I don't want to mesh them both. There's nothing here for you but war. This is the only thing here for you. Now, I'm not here to say where we need to go because mm-hmm. I haven't got it all together. But the solution, because everybody always <laughs> talks shit about, well, what you going to do? I'm going to tell you the solution that needs to happen mm-hmm. in America that might have them motherfuckers kicking in this dough because I'm saying this. Mm. We need to get together in groups. Yeah. I'm saying people like comedians, entertainers, mm. people who are known. We need to get together in groups and have meetings with the people. I'm talking about like not no not no money, community, not no, no pay to come see me shit. Mm. Neighborhoods are the people who get fucked over, which are the blacks, which are the Mexicans, which are we need to we need to have meetings on how we can come together. Mm-hmm. Because that's the problem. Accountability. We are we are in a chaotic situation that keeps us all against each other. Not Mexicans and blacks. I'm talking about black on black. Mexican on Mexican, Mexican on black, black on Mexican. It's all a big ass pool of bullshit. Mm-hmm. Right. And all the low economic. People if we too. ain't never getting together and talking about it in our communities, like everybody this week, we showing up at Shirley them house on this okay. block. You know what I mean? Right. Okay. And we need to talk on solutions, what we can do after people start doing that. Mm-hmm. If people start doing that, Unity and we can combine right. these meetings. Yeah, and I mean, become on one accord. Uh, right now, we're not on one accord. Uh, right now, yeah. it's niggas like Stephen A. Smith who want to be pets because they he's smart. Stephen A. Smith is intelligent. Yeah. It's just he don't want to be on the outside looking in because the bozo the clown hairdo will make it you know where what? his pussy he hustle will be on zero. He got to have his paper to stay relevant. If not, he's just a clown with a, with a he's just a bozo clown hair having nigga. So we Damn. so we get together. We so got unity but, but and communication let me say, and then what's the next step? Let me just let me all just let me say this. Itself once we become one. That's and identity. on one accord. But, but yeah, let me let me say this. I knowledge agree. itself. Everybody's been saying this for 50 years, yes. you know, 60 years, knowledge itself. But it takes one generation, and we need to understand that we're not going to get back 300 years in one generation. Right. So right. one generation has to be considered the seed. We have to stop talking to old folks and start talking to young folks right. and give them the vision and the guide, the guidance. Mm-hmm. That's the only way to change it. You got to understand, black people don't fuck with black people in America. I they had a David, Michael Jackson David movie where Michael Jackson it. was white, didn't he? Yeah. Yeah, but that wasn't David, made by black no, people. But David Banner, it, 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 David Banner said, yeah. said this shit. He said, we got to come to terms that black people really don't like each other. Right. And you want to know why? So You've this is taught to do that. But we've been taught to do. We've been conditioned <laughs> to do that. Same on the continent in Africa. Yeah, Willie Lynch Africans are the same way. They they they've been colonized by the colonizer too. Compete. The mm-hmm. bottom line is that skin lightning cream sold out over there. It's done. Mm. The great. bottom line is we've got to capture a generation of kids, right, and catch them before the indoctrination sets in and reaffirm uh you know self-directed identity right now our, our identity is what's been dictated to us and that's one of the confusions because people don't know i mean they, they're they're confused as as to what being black is you know what i'm saying and that's- you mentally fucked when you get an education from a public school you mentally fucked yeah. everything right. they teach you in public school basically programs you to be out here on some self-hate shit right if you don't have a household right. that can uh, instill. I agree, one hundred percent. But yeah. most shit of us, in you, because that's that's still a, by single mom. a desire. Yeah. No, well, my situation, right, for instance, like I grew up in a predominantly white area, right? But my parents are from Mobile, Alabama, and Benita, Louisiana. So they're like, "What they talking about up there?" I tell them what we learned in school. Fuck all that. 
This is what we watching. Eyes on the prize. Yeah, it's like very I had, rare. I had to get, right. I had to get my entire like own that, though, education man. at home to understand what blackness was, what my black. Because I'm not going to the grocery store and it's full of black people. Right. It's just and then and then in areas like that, a lot of black people overcompensate for there being a lack of a representation of their culture. They do the most times ten to show I'm the blackest person up in here. Right, right, right. The person hey, who say nigga the most right, is the right, one right. black person in the Wyoming bar. Like that's nigga, an identity you know? Just speaking on that shit you said right there, Nate, mm-hmm. and, and you know, like I moved out here. I, this is why I became a man out here. Yeah. I never paid rent till I lived in California. Right. I fucking I, I lived with bitches. I was a wretched motherfucker who's brought up by a single mom. And, and you know what I'm saying? I didn't know. I didn't know a lot of shit. But one thing I want to say about this shit in California, go to the grocery store on Crenshaw. Now, after you leave the grocery store on Crenshaw, don't buy nothing out the one on Crenshaw. Mm. Go to the grocery store in Sherman Oaks on uh, Ventura and oh, not the Gucci uh, Ralphs. A cold water. Come on, Gucci oh yeah. Ralphs. Oh, you might know one even better, D. Gucci you, Ralphs. That's that new one with all the glass over there on the. Oh, you talking about the one on? Did they sell niggas on Crenshaw? Right. And then versus look at the that. produce that they sell right. at this Ralphs. The one I know about is on cold water. And uh, I'm just saying, I'm mm-hmm. talking about the people in well, California. Uh, well, well, and where you live, you can go there. You can do this in in, in your city. Mm-hmm. Go to the hood grocery store and look at the produce. All I'm saying is, look at it. Everything. Well, then produce, go you know? to but, where the but, people who got yeah. money at right. and look at their produce. Right. We we and got, you'll see what they think about you. That's yeah. they charge you the same price. Yeah. yeah. We got to remember, just like in the Matrix, when Neo has to fight the agent in the last one. At the end of the day, he was told, "You're not the fr- you're not the first one. You're 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 right. number six. Right. right. And what's gonna happen is you gonna go back and do some shit, and then you gonna come back to us, and you gonna start Zion all over again. Right. You gonna pick. They 16. said they got efficient at destroying right. it. We yeah. we good at destroying it. Right. What are you fighting for? Do you know what it is? Right. They do you know? Terrible. Right. Do you even know? So <laughs> so the, the point that I'm making is. When we talk about voting, it's like going back to Machine City for the answer. Right. You, nigga, you can't get the answer from the oppressor. Right, from the problem. <laughs> you, you asking the problem for the answer? The only reason M- Machine City <laughs> didn't kill Neo, because he was coming with something. Right. We ain't coming with shit right now. Right. But marches. And, and, and I, just to clarify what Nate said earlier. And then they send the minorities out there, the police outfits, to deal with your marching ass. Uh, uh, Garvey is, 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 the fo- uh, is a follower of Marcus Garvey's philosophies and what he believed. Which, right. I didn't Pan- know that until you said it. But Pan-Africanism, oh, that's what I'm talking about. Pan-Africanism is just a, a phrase that Africa basically covers all intellectual things that have to do with being In black. The diaspora. The whole globe. Yeah, right. so it's like the, com- the common thought that all people who choose that path. Yeah, think. so that's for, that's for the whole world. Right. Marcus Garvey, his was based for American blacks. Right. But there are a lot of people who... And he wanted, he wanted him to go back to Africa. No, and, that's what he was resorted to later in his life. But his whole, he didn't even go to Africa himself. From what I he had a nigga his that undercut was, him. Right. W.E.B. Du Bois. Right. Yeah. Under- Come right. on. But his thing was... They used another black man but, to chop this one down. Man, let's keep it real. Marcus what he Garvey was saying was, wasn't listening was, to nobody. He was talking about self-sufficiency, our own water, our own resources, our own reliability. We don't need to rely on the government. We can be our own nation within the nation, and we're, we're good. Fuck them. That's what he was on. That's, Mar- that's Marcus. Well, that ain't, that ain't what I'm on. What I'm on is this, and I'm you bold enough change, to say it. I didn't know that that was your talk. I believe in order for us to get out of this mess that we are in, and I'm not only talking about black people. I'm mm-hmm. talking about... The, the four nations of the earth that have been victimized by this wicked group of people. The only way we are going to get out of this, as I really look at it, is the confrontation. Right. I really believe that if we went somewhere, mm-hmm. they going to go over there and fuck with us. They're like, where they at? They over there? Go get them. <laughs> That's what I believe. I, I, this I this think, is what I believe. I, I believe we are watching the war and we're in it right now. I think well, I believe I when I believe accurate. when the president is wearing a "Make America Great Again" hat, and he's talking about a time period of America we were either enslaved or indentured, that is so and that's who's accurate. running the country. I think we're in the war right now. The South has won again. The motherfucking KKK is running shit. But mm-hmm. what type? And of when war? I tell you, when I tell you about the blue wave and the Democratic sweep, 
That's the party right now. Even though you can't trust all of it wholeheartedly, but that's the party who right. makes the changes in laws and, and that we say that's that's more for us. I agree. Right. The Democrats. But and if there's a sweep, if they're winning in Podunk, Arkansas, they got a white man riding in on a horse. That nigga left on the same horse. He lost. I can prove to you we ain't at war. Let me tell you how I can prove it. How? Because there's young black people dying everywhere. We still taking their pills. If you at war with somebody, you ain't fucking with them. You against them. Right. But we've been, we, you know, That's we've been conditioned <laughs> to. You still popping their right. pills. We've been conditioned. You, you get the pills from them. In right. them, you trust. Right. <laughs> we've been conditioned to go to the oh devil God. for an understanding of God. To that's, heal yourself. Yeah. We, we, <laughs> you we've been saying? conditioned to that do that. That lets you know you ain't, you ain't at war. If you go into the enemy to heal you. You are not at war. You are destroyed. You but, are defeated. But this is, I, I, but I this is why I say political war right I, now. I, I but this, but this I is why I say there, 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 there needs to be not just. I think the highest form of revolution is intellectual. Right. Uh, internal, mental, the way we think. We got to break up with white people's <laughs> definitions and distinctions. This is a nigga ham after. When you, when you, <laughs> when the dominant society says. This is success. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. This is making it. We got to break up with <laughs> those stupid. distinctions. Mm -hmm. right. Too many black people's lives are defined by what white people have said is successful, by what white people have said is making it. This is why we don't really trust mm -hmm. our own people mm -hmm. because we look at our own people as inherently weak. You you ain't got the final say on this situation, nigga. Let me right. talk to the nigga that you work for. Right. I, I don't. Look, I don't look at our people. I don't look at our people as uh, inherently weak. That's not I'm, something that I've been indoctrinated. I, I've. I've I'm no, not saying problem, we're not strong people. The problem is you're people. inherently kind. I'm not no, saying this, we're not this strong. Give his no, enemy I'm gonna be with you. and this forget what, what he's done. Is, right. This but is what the problem is. To me, this is what the problem is. Right. Because you talk about unity and communication being the first step towards us making change as a culture in our in our country. But what I see the problem is Somebody the amount Frank and degree, the fact that there's a degree of wokeness is what the issue is. There's people in the chat now that will argue that it's more wokeness than me here. Based on what I'm saying by saying not to trust Democrats wholeheartedly, but that out of Democrats and Republicans, that's who's looking out for me more than the other. This is what I'm going to tell Just you, young bro. But I'm saying, if this there's a degree of wokeness, how do you determine where the line is drawn? Nate, You're you saying it's us versus them. But if some of us are like, but them looks like should I know? They end up in a way, like you're saying. So you have a line that's actually several lines. Because the people back here are black, thin, a motherfucker, and don't give a fuck about the side at all. The people right here are like, but my cousin. This one right here, I'm married to one. This one right here. Like, that's where you get the but degrees. You, so the lines are blurred. But I you get are, what you're saying. Right, right. So, but if it's it's a, going to, okay, so if it's a war between black people and white people, what side is it's Craig going to be on to so the Richard. outsider looking but at it, him? But, but nice. here, but I think it's a war between black and black. I know where he'll be, he'll be next to me. We'll be fighting. But yeah, when a yeah. white person looks... Do they see him as black or it's they see Richard, him as one Richard, of them? But it's, here's the thing. And I'm a, a, a lot of niggas ain't going to like this comment, right? But I'm going to keep it 100, man. It's, yeah. it's rich and poor, man. I got more That's in common with a say, poor yeah. white than a rich black mm -hmm. all day long. And I hate to even say that. I hate to even <laughs> say that, nigga. Nah. That was I hate great. To, I hate the to only reason I disagree with you because this is what I'm saying. When it comes down to that moment of truth, they can oh, yeah. always go, go back white. to the side oh, yeah. that they, they motherfucking side. know they can always go back to. Right. Let me tell you something. Hey, check this out. Check this out. It's a lot of Caucasian people yeah. who marched with the Black Panthers yeah. and had good intentions. First, nigga, we don't can even I, see can I change until this? white people die. Nigga. Can I finish right. this? Can That's I finish shit. this? Please. They I'll had wait. good intentions. <laughs> but as you get older and you don't have that fight no more, mm -hmm. you just want some peace. Right. And all them white people who used to march with the Panthers, they went back to their world with their family right to yeah. go live in the house that was, that's that been there for them the, the, the longest. Day, yeah. But you don't get that to go to. You get no. what I'm saying? Right. And mm. mark my word, because I'm just a little bit older than you. I ain't a lot older than you. I think I got you about 10 years. You're going to hit a point in mm. your life where you're going to be like, you know what? Mm. This shit really is about Good and evil. Straight and the oh, no, people no, no, no. I'm who already, show you who they I'm are, gonna you. You, have to you gonna be like, first of all, hold people. on, I got you. Oh, no, I'm gonna dead that because this is a discussion. This is a show. This is entertainment. 
Right. There has to be a certain amount of devil's advocate taking place. Otherwise, it all sounds yeah. like don't the same reveal. goddamn right. thing. Okay, but it ain't got to be no devil's back. advocate taking place. Because <laughs> right. he's going to tell me, I don't know if this is good and evil and black and white. I didn't say that. I didn't say that. Ready, but what I said right. was, they, when you get you. older, when you get older, yeah. your tolerance for mm. not what's real yeah. is going to fade. Yeah. Yeah. The people who are not genuine to you, yeah. you're not going to want them around because you realize, I'm getting old. My time is winding down. Yep. I don't want no phony motherfuckers I around feel, me. I feel like... I want to go out real. Now, listen. I feel like I'm already there because I don't be with the bullshit. But I I pay homage to you being my senior and just say, okay, man. But the reason I said that to, to you is because of what I see in you. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You... What you coming from, it ain't for me to say it's right or wrong. Mm -hmm. But I'm telling you, this one thing I know, mm -hmm. the enemy going to show you who they are. Straight up. The enemy going to call your phone and act like you did something wrong mm -hmm. for being next to me. Yeah. That's what the enemy is going to do. Mm -hmm. While you young, you think it's cool. Oh, they tripping. I got that. But when you get older, yeah. you're going to tell the enemy, don't call my phone with that bullshit. Don't, don't think, stay I the think, fuck away I from me. This, I think this dialogue <laughs> is perfect for me. <laughs> Ten years ago, but what I've you had, mean? What I've you had mean? Different experiences. Be uh, like, I, I, I'm with you. I, I think no, I, trust me, my nigga. And there may you be some not, between now and then. And you a big oh, motherfucker. Yeah. Your toddler, you gonna be known as the, the, the bully, what? right? Either that's way, what they call. You. Always call. I'll be checking niggas. Don't call me the bully or a gangster. You just gotta be. You gotta be one hundred. You think you. Alex Thomas? Them ain't talking about. I'm some type of. Oh, Corey, that motherfucker, crazy. But everything I said was one hundred, nigga. Well, tell me what I lied on you about so I can apologize because I'm man enough to do it if I lied on you. But if I said the truth mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and that bothers you, work on yourself, nigga. Mm -hmm. Any of these motherfuckers I didn't talk shit to because I'm man enough to say, hey, he man. he called you yet? Did he hit you up any kind of way? Hell, motherfucker. No, that nigga ain't going to send me no email. That's what, he going to send me a lie that's going to be in a fucking email? That's what motherfuckers don't want to do. He fucked up sending the email to Craig because it's proof of his character in that. Yeah, that's lame. You, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Damn. Who he is is there. Nigga, you, you fucked up trying nigga, to be slick and nigga, send it to like that man. Ago, nigga, but, it, but, but, even, but anybody who uses fear. That's why I say people need to get together and talk. Because you can, you can learn a lot when motherfuckers be like, hey, what's up? It might be some tension that don't even need to be going on no more. Mother you can it. fix it. Niggas, right. get together, talk to me, nigga. Right, right. You know what I'm saying? Anybody right, right, right. who's using fear to withhold the truth is trying to manipulate you. Yeah. So this is the right. fact. This is the what, fact. You, anybody who's using who uses truth? fear to withhold fear. the truth. Fear. Yeah. To, yeah. yeah. The fact that we were Fear even, as a mechanism look, to hold the truth back. That, that's, yeah. that's manipulation. The fact that a nigga would even be would even consider the fact that he could possibly be blackballed because of what another man said. That's some, that, that fear is something that I... Fuck that fear. If it ain't going to happen, it ain't going to happen, nigga. But I'm not going to sit here mm -hmm. and, and not say what... You know, and not right. fuck with people or say what I want to say based on... These niggas ain't fed me up until this point. But, but Ain't none of them niggas put no money in my pocket. Some of them right. niggas have put money in my pocket, okay, nigga. So, well, but Craig, what does that mean? We Craig, got different walks. If you, the enemy like nothing, if you feel like everything you do in your life, this show included... Has nothing to do with how things play out for you. Fine, feel that way. It, hey, man, let me tell you something. The but enemy called, talking, the enemy called my phone. The enemy came to get me. Want me to tell you why he came to get me? Alex should have hit that nigga direct. I was putting in work with the people. So when they got their shit, well, they didn't X me out. The people was like, where's Corey? Right. We don't see Corey on here. See? Woo, 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 right. woo, woo. So the enemy, because they want that bread. Mm -hmm. They want that bread over everything. Mm -hmm. Hey, Corey, let me call this motherfucker see? Mm -hmm. and see, can I work him? Because right. really, he just mad because uh, uh, I, I wasn't doing him right. Maybe if I act like I'm going to do him right. Uh -huh. <laughs> you know mm -hmm. so maybe that, if I act like But do you, do you feel <laughs> like everybody's like that, Corey? Or do you feel like that's certain there are no in absolutes. the game? In the, yeah, there are no absolutes. We talk like Everything there's absolute. Is, yeah. Well, well, let me, well, let's preface do that. We, do we talk like intelligent people yeah. I call know names by out. default there are no absolutes. Intelligent people know that, right? And if you have to constantly preface that, then that means you're talking to somebody. So what you who, just who doesn't really understand? What you just said when well, bitches be like, "Oh, different. you saying all women, women ain't this?" No, you you right, talk though. about a stupid bitch who trying to manipulate, right? Because right. mm -hmm. most people like understand. the big ad bitch who tried right. to turn all the women against me. The big yeah, ad bitch I just don't with the with the hide no. my hair outfit. 
all the time. I'm not walking on other. I'm not walking on eggshells when there's other chickens laying eggs, nigga. Fuck it, nigga. I'm gonna do what the fuck I gotta do right, to get worse. I'm gonna do what the fuck I gotta do. Cause look, at the end of the day, when you become a comic, yeah. you're taking a, a personal accountability for your for your life yeah. and where you want to go as a man. Yeah, you're an entrepreneur, and that's a complete decision. That's not a that's not a halfway decision. And it don't matter how talented you are, it don't mean you gonna make it at all. And, and that, mm. you all in though. In fact, and you that's right though. In fact, yeah. you out here with the riffraff. You might be the talented motherfucker, yeah. but you still right next to the riffraff who will right act there. like well, I want to get it too. Standing right there, right, motherfucker, right next to you. He ain't got no talent, but he know how to do that. Uh oh. And the, <laughs> and the situation between them two, that, I don't, I don't think that, that counts as what we're talking about, though. No, but what I'm saying is, like, what you're saying is your code. Right, your code as a man. You're saying I'm not gonna walk on eggshells because somebody may threaten me with a black ball. I'm not gonna be. Uh, but fear that's is, how. No, hold on. He's saying fear is not gonna lead his decision to do or not do something. Right. right. I'm here, regardless of who's called me direct, regardless right, right. of who's written through somebody. Else, I'm here. Right. My position in my station in life and where I'm at. I'm here. Just now. Uh, now. I've also resolved to saying if I hear some shit that is just too wild and don't make no goddamn sense, as a man, I'm gonna hold it accountable in anywhere I'm at. I respect you. Yeah. Nobody's yeah. gonna talk right. shit about this nigga around me. Nobody's gonna talk shit here, that. out there. So it don't matter. So, but, to, right. so no, but hold on, I'm not even addressing you now. Okay. Because in the chat they're like, well, then Nate, nigga, don't come, nigga. If you gonna walk on eggshells, it's not about eggshells. <laughs> <laughs> it's about <laughs> wherever <laughs> I'm at. I'm <laughs> not gonna be on eggshells. Right. So if Corey <laughs> says such and such is a, a faggot, right, which he'll do. If it is, I'll just right. be quiet, nigga. If but I can't Nate, validate it, I'll be like, nigga, But, Nate, let me know. tell you something. Right, right. <laughs> All them weirdo niggas out there, mm -hmm. I'm talking about, I say at least 70 to 80% of them weirdo niggas, they'll type some crazy shit. Just because. But cause. when you come just to town, right, they're going right. to come see you. They're going to yeah. come fuck right. with you. Yeah, and it's going to make a difference. Yeah, but you have to understand. Hey, yeah, yeah, that's no, 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 no. I get it. But even if it's to come up there and say some shit, they get your big head ass out here. But they there. They about to. Nigga, you out here cooning, nigga. But what I'm saying is, regardless of where it comes from, it still represents a discourse. Right? I agree. Right. It represents a discourse. Right. And and on this show, because of how the panel is set up, I represent a discourse of African American viewer or person. Right, people right. watch this show and go, which one do I relate with the most? If they don't relate with you, they're like, Man, fuck Craig. Man, Craig is a da da da. Right, right, right. If they don't relate with me, it's fuck me. But what I'm saying right. is we all got the same mentality, we all have the same like ideals, we all have the same For things sure. in common, we all been raised in the same age group. Right. We've right, all been right. exposed to the same social pressures. But, but you also but, got a factor in you're in entertainment, yep. which is an entirely different kind of movement than, say, someone who is in corporate America. Oh, my mm -hmm. God, yes. With corporate America as a black nobody. alpha male, yeah. you have to capitulate. Right. You you must. What's capitulate mean? Yeah, we you know, know, surrender. Just you know. at least uh, assimilate. Capitulate. Just be glad you ain't capitulating in jail. For real. Let's put it like exactly. that. Exactly. You, you, you do got to down. You, huh? you see what I'm saying? <laughs> you you have to because first off, intelligence intimidates. <laughs> right. Yeah. And then for black men, black intelligent men, yeah. a lot of stupid motherfuckers will cross pollinate intelligence and articulation with aggression. Right. Yeah. Right. Wait, that, say that again. So make it motherfuckers and understand you understand? that. understand? If you speak well and you're assertive about what the fuck you know mm -hmm. and you're not afraid to speak it, you the problem. That's going to be seen as aggressive. Right. It can't just be a respected opinion. Y right. Do you get what Especially, I'm saying? Especially, and I'll make it full circle to say because you sound a big nigga. I'm perceived as a big. bully right away. That, oh, that's what I'm calling. Don't be, big and, don't be yeah. big and smart. We right. Got, don't yeah. do that. Don't. don't and know. then if you're not, you have a whole other set of people that say, nigga, you're trying to make everybody happy. Right. On the you're internet. trying to please yeah. everyone. You're on the looking. internet. On the other, on the, really on the other end of that same spectrum, actually, I'm not trying to please everyone, except for my own code. On that's the internet is this white boy man. calling that's this big black that's dude a fun. nigga. It's on Tariq Najib page. Mm -hmm. It's a white boy calling this big black dude a nigga. Long story short, the big black nigga slammed this motherfucker like a toy. <laughs> the racist white boy who yelling out this racist the gas shit. No, they in front of school or something. Okay. He slammed him. Nigga. It's, it's, he fucked that white boy. And then he stuck him. But when the police got there, the, the black dude got arrested. Now, I said that for a reason. Because now this black dude is going to be forever afraid to be who he is. Because motherfuckers got him thinking something wrong with him. Because he the motherfucking alpha male. Right. Right. You are... 
by by God's motherfucking gift. The NBA is full of niggas. The NFL is full of niggas because we are that motherfucker. Now, the motherfucker might say something about, oh, Corey, that's wrong to say that. No, it's not. I'm talking facts. They would not have that many black players in the NFL if if they really wasn't the motherfucking those are the gods. Oh, you're right. The, you see what I'm saying? The, the but they're going the to try to make you feel like something men, wrong man. with you because you are the god. Yeah. You are the motherfucker on this planet that's the biggest, baddest motherfucker. The mm. world starter. The yeah. humanity mm. starter. How about right. that? Mm. That's like, I love that I word. I can't let this motherfucker remember yeah. that shit at all costs. Right. Motherfuckers like Alex Thomas who try to make it seem like something wrong with you because they are the weak. They are the ones who bullshitting their way through the game, calling people jokes thieves, but he the biggest joke thief. Mm. He, he, can't, he can't hang with the titans. He can't hang with the motherfuckers who are smash motherfuckers if, if you get out of line. We be in front of the motherfucking improv, right? We see, we see niggas out there mm-hmm. that might get out of pocket. Mm-hmm. But because they're a titan, mm-hmm. don't nobody say shit to them. Mm-hmm. I actually like that shit. Mm-hmm. I like to be amongst the titans. Mm-hmm. I like to be out there with the big fish. Because mm-hmm. this is going to make me be what I need to be. Right. If I'm around the little bullshit motherfucking chihuahuas of ass niggas and shit, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. I'm going to be like, hey! You know what I'm saying? Uh-oh. My bark ain't gonna be what it needs to be. Said right. the Chihuahua ass niggas. That's what I'm saying. Like I, I don't feel comfortable around men who ain't 100 and can't bag it up. You right. see what I'm saying? I like, I like niggas the, be getting the weeded beast. out outside that improv too. Hell yeah, right. Get, we be starting a big group. We be niggas down the street, down there. But have you ever looked at everybody who be around us yeah. when we be out there mm-hmm. late? It ain't no little pussy motherfuckers. Mm-mm. And the little pussy motherfuckers, is got heart. So, they just it's, listening. They got heart. Yeah, the ones that stay got a little heart. Even a little handicapped nigga. Yeah, got Don't let me what fool is that you. Bird? <laughs> what is that bird that be at the ocean with the big ass pelican? Pelican. I didn't know them motherfuckers was that vicious. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I saw some pigeons around this pelican. That pelican ate that motherfucker. Oh, 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 oh. That's why New Orleans. I didn't we know. I said, nigga, what kind of bitch ass bird is that? They all watched that video. Ate like, that yeah, pigeon. Yeah, that pigeon walked Don't over there. Don't play that no pelican. Don't play no. Yo, pussy. <laughs> what do you say, Corey? <laughs> Get your puss ass down my throat. <laughs> they ate the motherfucker. I was like, this pelican land, man. This pelican <laughs> land, man. <laughs> I like being around the pelicans, nigga. The pelicans stand right by you on the beach. Yeah. They don't run they don't when you be out there fuck. fishing. You can try to shoot them away and they, they be, do not they go. Like, What's up, nigga? And they be, they make noise like a Give me, noise, give like me like one of them fish, nigga. What's happening, nigga? You ever heard a pelican? No. I didn't know they. <laughs> I didn't know they was that big. All right, all right, all right. Like if you eat a sandwich, they look at the sandwich. If it's a kid, they'll take the food from the kid. Straight up. Oh, wow. Mm. The only reason they ain't eat the kid because it can't fit down his throat. Yeah. <laughs> but a pelican is a... Is a, is a <laughs> he'll sit there right next to you like he cool. They be just like this. They don't say shit. <laughs> pelican land, man. Uh, Let me see a motherfucker <laughs> I can get. That nigga's so sad. This is pelican <laughs> land, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> Anyway, y'all, we're gonna take a bitch. We're gonna take a we're gonna <laughs> take a quick break bitch. before we wrap this shit I up. Ah. I, don't know. I got, no, I got the crazy. piss, nigga. This piss land, nigga. Frank the piss four times over there. Yeah. That nigga got a big ass bottle over, over there. He <laughs> got a bottle. Right. Come here pissing in, he a piss in front of Jillian. Don't say shit, I'll fuck you up. So we're gonna come back on YouTube? Is that what we're doing? For real? We're gonna see what we can do. Well, let's see. But regardless, we're gonna fuck with this. We're gonna have a song too, motherfucker. We 5150. We'll be back, bitch. Yeah, yeah.
No, Oh, motherfucker.
There you go. Don't wish you no bad luck, baby. Uh. Don't wish you no pain. This nigga. <laughs> I'm only trying to drop you off after I fuck on the train. Hey. I'm just I heard someone say. <laughs> uh oh. Oh, that nigga hit it high. That he likes on. you. <laughs> I got the hell going. You know what I am? Go on, put that beat on so we can sing this wack ass song. No, <laughs> Whack ass song about what happened. Uh -uh. Oh shit. Motherfucker got the beat on. I didn't have my headphones on. Ah. You yeah. didn't buy coffee. Get the fuck out. Fuck out. Nigga, you didn't buy coffee. Fuck out. Get gone. You didn't buy coffee. Starbucks the other day. And here's what they say. Get the fuck out. You can't be sitting around. You a black man. Might as well be a clown. We ain't down with you fucking up with our Wi-Fi. Black man die. Starbucks hate all of you when you come in here and try to act like we love you. You didn't buy coffee. You didn't buy coffee. Get the fuck out. Get the fuck out. Yeah. You didn't buy coffee. Fuck out. You didn't buy coffee. It's a black dude over there chilling out. Espresso, caramel, and whipped cream. I had a few dollars, but they wouldn't take the change. So I sat down with my computer, and the bitch look at me crazy. What the fuck you looking at, bitch? I'm here to use the computer. Why you always on my case, bitch? Where's the bathroom go? Coffee. She called the police, and I was like, I'm not going to go. <laughs> what? You and then me and the homie got arrested. <laughs> and then I start flexing. Uh, now yeah. niggas is on my side. Uh oh. But fuck Starbucks, nigga. Ride. Buy coffee. <laughs> yeah, buy coffee. Fuck out. Fuck out. You didn't buy coffee. Get the fuck out. Fuck out. You didn't buy coffee. Get the fuck out. Fuck out. Get gone. You didn't buy coffee. You niggas always thinking y'all like Yeah, nigga, hey, Jackson. Uh, I came in the building to get out the rain. To sit down and rest my motherfucking brain. I feel like it's a goddamn shame that I can't get no coffee and y'all niggas is lame. Uh, 
fucked up, treat me suave mente I came in this bitch and ordered me a vente You think I give a fuck, I got K-Cups My nigga fuck Starbucks and his ass, bitch I came to drink some coffee and chill like a motherfucker And y'all tripping on a black motherfucker, man I'm about to take my ass home I don't need these problems, y'all can leave me alone, nigga yeah, 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 yeah. Fuck out Get the fuck out Get gone, bitch You didn't buy coffee that's why I drink Seattle's best, bitch. You didn't buy coffee. Coffee bean about to come up like a motherfucker. Yeah. You didn't buy coffee. Don't ever come back again. I'll kick your motherfucking ass, nigga. I swear to God. You didn't buy coffee. What the fuck is a vente, nigga? It's an extra large. You didn't buy coffee. I bet that glazed donut hard than a motherfucker. You didn't buy coffee. Give me a little cup of all the cut up fruit and shit and get the fuck out of my face. You didn't buy coffee. I wish I would give your bitch ass $3 for this little ass bag of peanuts. You didn't buy coffee. Why is some of that motherfucking microwave food out of there? I want a sandwich. Roll me up. Buy coffee. Why the I'm nigga at the register so damn feminine, nigga? Put some bass in your voice, nigga. You didn't buy coffee. I'm about to drop some cocoa in this bathroom, nigga. <laughs> you didn't buy coffee. I got a large coffee for a uh, real nigga? <laughs> <laughs> you didn't buy coffee. It's always pissed on the toilet seat when I go to the bathroom in this motherfucker. You oh, you coffee. got the coat? <laughs> oh, you got the coat? Fuck out. Fuck out. Fuck out. You didn't buy coffee. Oh, Get the fuck out. out. You want to use the bathroom? The code is fifty-one-fifty, nigga. <laughs> Why you know? <laughs> Take this plunger with you. <laughs> Get the fuck out. You didn't buy coffee. Motherfucker, you said this egg white. I see that yellow shit. You didn't buy coffee. You have the right to remain silent and black. You didn't buy coffee. Get your. <laughs> <laughs> Niggas gotta look good. at each other first. Ah. Niggas yeah. try to come yeah. in at the right moment. Yeah, buy no coffee. Out. We need a bridge, nigga. You didn't buy coffee. What the bridge? Get the fuck out. No, that's the bridge. Nigga, get yeah. your yeah. shit and get that's your shit. No, 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 no. Get your no, ass out no. of this. I was about to buy something. Yeah, yeah. You didn't get your shit and get your stuff. You didn't fuck up this $7. I got you. You didn't get Starbucks. You didn't buy coffee. It's Bobby. Two, two dykes arguing in the men's bathroom. <laughs> you didn't buy coffee. That motherfucking computer don't work no more. That's a motherfucking <laughs> gateway, nigga. Get the fuck out of here. <laughs> you didn't buy coffee. Get the fuck out. Yeah. Uh, my nigga, get your shit and get your stuff and get your black ass up out of our Starbucks. Cause <laughs> you didn't buy coffee. This ain't the place to be, G. Get the fuck on or you will be arrested. <laughs> And molested when you get to jail, you ain't got bail. It's gonna feel like hell when that dick goes up in your motherfucking back rail. You didn't buy coffee. Get the fuck out. You get the fuck out now. You didn't buy coffee. Frank, cut the beat off. Why y'all don't hire Africans in this motherfucker? We are here as well. You didn't buy coffee. They stole the cocoa from us. We do you think the beans are from? You didn't buy coffee. Give us us beans. The right. coffee is our sweat. <laughs> Give me back my time on bean. Can't we all just get along? <laughs> oh, hell he no. didn't buy coffee. We're going to try it after the show. How we gonna, what, what, we, what we said we was going to do is do that shit on the show so everybody can know where to go to next yeah, week. He, well, so how do we have a way of letting everybody know where to go next week well, if we ain't gonna, on you straight? We're going to try and test something after the show right now because yeah, he has to, was supposed to be has to do with the YouTube. cameras to reset something oh he about to reset some me. shit well you were here you in the bathroom out. i was asking okay, okay. <laughs> so we'll let him know coffee. we'll definitely let him know on social you media. can't see well d i can't see shit <laughs> you I lucky, see your ponytail. Look, you lucky I like Flo Evans, right? Really? Keep, I don't want anybody get, boy, I would throw something at to you. get the wrong idea about D. She don't got nothing to hide. Hella glasses just to read. Oh, okay. Uh oh, uh oh. You know, D gonna come for you. I want to tell y'all about this woman of mine. Yeah, Corey, tell him. Uh -oh. well, how that song start out? Uh oh, now he When it's cold outside, girl. Who are you holding? You be holding. Uh oh. Whoa, shit. The old yeller over here. <laughs> <laughs> you be holding. <laughs> she always bragging about what she ain't got. <laughs> and what the bitches who look good got. 
But I'm like, bitch, you'll never get that because you look like Scooby Doo. I can't be two places at one. No, <laughs> <laughs> that nigga Craig came in like a crackhead, nigga. Right. You be holding. Ah. <laughs> so he said to the dope dealer, man, I ain't got none. I ain't on. Ah. You be holding. Ah. Oh. <laughs> stupid. You be holding. Ah. What's that, D? The new gear is getting late. I know that. Okay. Well, let's get this new gear and put it on there for that all you. That shit is crazy. Well, the back of it, you can't see it. It's, <laughs> a, it's original, but we redid that, it. I just saw that shit. Where your woman look as a reflection of your income? God That's damn. In the back. Uh, original shirt. You're right. In the back, it says you must be broke. It says you must be broke. Damn. We have the. the fuck, we got these together. We redid this. Mm. This is the third. My day. side chick child is happy for us. <laughs> Show the back. He bought me some Jordan. Oh, God. <laughs> oh, <that's crazy. laughs> hey, dog, that shirt's so good. Ah, yeah, it's an original. We, we, we redid it. And then this is the lace cami, cami lace. That's a camisole, lace. right? Camisole lace. And it, it has Nubian Queen on yes. there. Ooh. Okay. The it has Nubian oh, Queen. The Throwback to the time. Crazy. Little camisole. D, D, what sizes we got? This goes, uh, both of these go up to 3X. I oh. redid the the uh, main that? chick. Oh, you What's did some main chicks too? Yeah. Uh-huh. There you go, show your boobs. Damn. A bit. I don't D- Bussing down in this motherfucker. That's what we call it. Bussing down. What? Bust yeah. down in this motherfucker. It's just a basic tank top, but yeah, it's well, the main it chick. It's basic on you. Look at God. Oh, no. Uh oh. Oh, <laughs> you better keep them compliments. We got the main, <laughs> so we got the main chip tank tops too. Yes, main we got the main chip tank tops. It's a, it's a basic That's rib. rib t- t- we are not. Nate is like a brother. <laughs> we were gonna work, go to dinner try. Friday, and I yeah, can't make it ahead of work. Oh, you gotta think of you like a brother. Okay. <laughs> That's good game. Ah, no. That's, That's that Bookman brother. game. Hey, I'm just your brother. <laughs> Bookman game. They the way twenty years on some pussy, baby. I know you would. I'm, I'm too old for Nate anyway. This nigga said something. What you say about game? He said something about you trying to. We gonna have to bring what's like her name word. back up here. Oh, my friend's coming next week, Darnisha. She's finally be able to make it. Who is Darnisha? You didn't buy my coffee. Right. From Darnisha, where? No. What do you mean? We used to work at the Y many years ago, and Shark then she got transferred. She had to change jobs. So <laughs> I, I see heard Darnisha's it. coming through next week. What is she doing? Is she? What, uh, do I don't we even know her? Well, out. we haven't met her yet. She hasn't come on the show. Well, yeah. why would she come on the show if she just works at the Y? She does not work uh, at the Y. I told uh, you that she used to work with me. And what do you mean, just? I don't know. I'm saying, like, who is she? <laughs> that's my, I just said that's one of my girlfriends. That's a friend of What's mine. What's wrong with this? Can we get a picture of her? <laughs> if she just works um, yes, at the we Y, about why would she? Before, I asked you then. <laughs> well, send a picture to Frank. And Frank, put the picture up there real quick. Oh, before we wrap everybody knows Darnisha. Up. The last time we spoke about her, do y'all a lot remember of Darn- Do you remember Darnisha? No, no, no. I she do. never came on, but we spoke about her. Yeah. And I showed you guys the picture that day. And I you said, talked about her before. Yes, because she's so sweet. Oh my god, she's a, she? she's a single mom. Corey said, Is she? God, why would she be on the show if she and works at her the IG <laughs> handle? <laughs> who is she? What do you mean who is she? She's What's her IG handle? She's, she's about to blow up now, D. You about she to? Did the are you really gonna give everybody? She did no, with the she, first she, show. She's at the Y. Don't even remember, that's his. Uh, that's his uh, memory. Yeah, Get the she fuck was out. able to make it because she was switching jobs and she moved away, so she was further away. <laughs> have we ever met her before? No, have, I just said we've that we've never you seen have her because you've never come to any of my birthday parties or anything like that, so you've never met her. No. Her name is Isha, but she be fucking up. No, her name is Darn Darn. Isha. <laughs> you know what? You're so stupid. Darn Isha. Darn Isha sound hood as fuck. <laughs> Darnisha, well, I can't you see her. Stupid. Can you her name, her, her handle on IG is Miss Year be Darla. Up. You gonna blow that girl thing up like that? She already okay. was from the first mention. She hasn't even been on the show when she already did. Okay, well, let's see the picture. Yeah, then. hold on, Look, hold give on. Give me a picture. Try to get one of them good ones, like when uh, Joe was trying pi- to show the good Whoopi no. Goldberg picture. All her pictures hey, are. Don't good. hate. Darnisha, on Darnisha's page, all her pictures are good. Well, just touch one. Why it's so hard to Hold find Hold on, one? I haven't even pulled it up. Touch my the God. first one you see. No, Where that was Darnisha? a screenshot. Hello. Oh, my God. The first one you see. First one. Okay, touch it. You didn't buy coffee. Oh, you see yeah. I, it's too far She's away from me, but she looks adorable 30s. from here. Yes, she is. Darnisha is. Well, plug me in so I can get off so of you can... since I'm your brother. She is. Bring up here, goddammit. <laughs> She's coming next Tuesday. We can see what she like... <laughs> <laughs> said. said, well, plug me in so I can get off of you. Since I'm your goddamn She's brother. Beautiful. Out this bitch. Yes. What's happening, Darnisha? 
Donisha, we can't wait for you and yeah. that monkey. I mean, you and your good oh. personality to come <laughs> up here. Make sure that monkey knows. got a yoni egg in it. Yeah. Right, God damn it. <laughs> uh, it helps That's balance your yoni, man. We about to prepare these yeah. Bill Cosby red hots for you. Up <laughs> <laughs> uh, she knows her Make ready. you go die. Ah. <laughs> I'll send Frank a picture. But no, Darnie, she's cool. She's down with That's it. She just moved girl. away. She's yeah, adorable. Hey. Super sweet. You know what me. did she I move to? Like, Tell the truth. Did she move with some nigga? Didn't work out. So now she back saying, "What's up with you?" Like, "What's up, D? What can I come?" Oh, out? absolutely not. We've never <laughs> fell out of contact. She's just this been, shit off the she's, rails. Listen, <laughs> she's a very responsible single mother that works really hard. How is a single mother <laughs> responsible? I knew he was going to say. <laughs> oh my god! I knew he wasn't going to say that. is the epitome of irresponsibility. <laughs> a lot of times, a it's single not mother. By choice. I knew. Not everybody oh, yeah. has. It's not by choice, though, Corey. Damn. Come on now. She wasn't a single mother by choice. We don't. I'm not. I'm, I'm I'm just saying, she, she's really a hard Dude, worker. She pays, pays attention to her son. Well, tell her his work up here, goddammit. Get that thing together. Actually, you know what? Yes, I could use her help. Yeah, get that cocoa that. butter. Right, well, let I me shut think up. about that. Anyway, so she'll be here next week. Miss Dear Darling IG, my That's friend. funny. Darn she Darn said she's a responsible single mother. Uh, well, because, hello, you see what I grew up with. Hello. <laughs> My mom was not, so yeah. We don't leave that alone. Cute things. She's young because she uses that Snapchat. Yeah, she used that, that little filter with yeah. the thing. We will pass on the, from that far away. We'll pass on the evidence. Anyway, it's gonna be hard be to smash because she already got a Correct, heads up on like what we own. <laughs> examine. No, because you have to watch, watch yeah. Nate or Craig. The though. name says enough, God damn it. That's no, poverty no, and yeah, some other nigga kids. He should be fucking up. <laughs> right. We're going to name her Darnish. <laughs> you got to put my kids first. That's that single mama talk. Oh, <laughs> this is my little princess <laughs> right here. <laughs> this nigga said her son look oh, bad. Stop. You better leave him alone. You said her son look bad. Look at that. God, no. You ain't sick. You would never Dude, look at him. How old is the little boy? That nigga, tear your house up. By now, I think he's like 10, maybe 10? 11. Yeah, that motherfucker yeah, walking around the house. One of the cupboards, nigga, changing the TV. Right. Sweetheart. Great kid because she's raising him. I already know. 10 years old, I already know what that means. That dick I be think. on. I'm not Turn sure now, on EBT. They, uh-oh. They're, <laughs> no, now they're there involved. You go. Now they're involved. <laughs> right. God damn. She's a stripper? No. Oh, my God. You say she's a stripper? Yeah, I can't believe Why you asking she was a stripper? She was in Atlanta recently, and that's where bitches sneak off the- uh, She took a trip. No. She, where she, where oh, she, my God. just don't take a trip to Atlanta. Oh, my God. <laughs> Hold on. She moved to Atlanta? <laughs> I did not say that. I she said she to took a trip. She went to go watch on she that midnight train. <laughs> on that midnight train to Hollywood. She was visiting. She went to shops. And oh, was, oh shop. she got what, yeah, what, what bag, bag is there? What bag is there? A lot of people be going in there buying the bag at the store. Oh Lord, you are so and put stupid. that shit from Ross in that bag. <laughs> Dumb. Anyway, I'm excited. Louis Vuitton Ross. I'm excited because she though. and she's a sweetheart. I'm telling you right now. I'll okay, show you. Well, I'll we, put some old pictures. Well, we all can't share. We gonna all work her. She gonna walk off the set. Y'all can have her. I chose. Oh, you chose twenty year wait, I guess. Okay, cool. Uh -oh. oh, you went right. twenty. Oh, okay. You got me wide open. Mm. Anyway, all right. So we gonna wrap this shit up. We thank y'all for staying up with us. <laughs> <laughs> we about to run some tests to finally see if YouTube can handle our cameras yeah. and I our mean, software. Like that. I think it's gonna work. Corey. Yeah. So whatever oh, information we have, pay attention to all our IGs or whatever. We'll let you guys know. I think yeah. chat room goes. Signal. It's gonna take it just fine. What happened? YouTube will be fine. We'll, well I'm saying like we're gonna keep this to send our pirate signal out just to let them know. Just to let them know, yeah. Listen, go to this. You yeah. know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Go to this. And maybe we can start airing that totally on Monday. Now. Right, it's not can totally we start down. airing that on Monday? What do you mean? Frank? Yeah. Okay, we'll start airing it on Monday. All the chat room goons where they can go to the new thing. Cause mm. motherfuck these motherfuckers. That's real. It's gonna be the first show with um Set the pizza. I mean, Darnisha. Uh, oh. <laughs> Windows XP ain't gonna work. Nigga. Somebody say Windows XP. <laughs> <laughs> Windows XP ain't gonna work. Nigga. We up out, man. We love y'all, man. Fifty-one fifty, y'all. Thanks for being with us. We